Hi! Ow. Ow. I think I popped up. Ow, dude! I think there's a hair on, like, the, the point of my earlobe. Ow, dude. It hurts. It's painful, man. The spot there hurts. Yeah. Joint is painful. Ow. But cooking for yourself doesn't have to be painful. Thanks to HelloFresh for sponsoring tonight's stream. We're going to unbox our items tonight. Can't wait to unbox what we got from HelloFresh. Mm. Thank you, DKGM. Eat the raw ingredients. No. That'll kill me. There's meat in there. It's like chicken and pork and shit. No. I'm in that, uh... I'm in the cycle again of, uh... <laughs> somehow, I'm getting epic rap battles of history recommended to me again. Why? I never watched that to begin with. I wasn't an epic rap battles guy. Hi, Coney. Are you streaming? Hold on. Hi, Coney. Are you visiting Nintendo World someday soon? I don't know about someday soon, bro. Those lines about to go crazy. That's nuts. No way. Was was Epic Rap Battles like a big deal in your guys' school? Was that like a thing in high school that everybody was like so excited when it came out? And Yeah? That's fascinating. A bit in middle school. That's really funny. For me, it was Chappelle Show. When that Rick James thing came out... Oh, my God. When the, when the Rick James episode dropped, everybody was uh, quoting Chappelle Show in high school. Which, you know... Going by the actual, like... Uh, the ratings on the shows, they shouldn't be watching that. But You know how it is. Oh, the Prince one, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Late the stream. Please don't point and laugh. I'll let you get away with it this time, but remember that for the future. I need you guys to be punctual. HelloFresh expects you to be on time. Um, so I stopped playing Perfect Lie last night uh, because I was like, all right, I don't know how much more of the game is left, and I don't want to keep going, right? I had eight more minutes. I was done. There's eight more minutes of the game. It's right there. Yeah, I don't I don't know how that happened. So we're gonna beat it tonight. <laughs> we're gonna get it done, don't worry. You played the rest of the game. No, I looked it up because I was like, how much longer is it? And there's a YouTube video of the full game. And at the spot that I was, there's eight more minutes. And I didn't watch any of it, because, of course, I'm not going to spoil myself, right? But it said eight more minutes, so. We're going to finish it off. And then I had an idea for what I wanted to do tonight. But then I decided it's a very bad idea. <laughs> so I'm actually not going to do that tonight. Tonight I'm going to... I'm going to have to hit a pivot. A bit of a Hit run it by us? No, I'm not telling you what it is. I hate nothing more than than chat backseating content. Hate it. Can't stand it. I'm not gonna tell you what it is. I'm not gonna Ooh, hit the drum. I'm on Yoshi now. <laughs> Coney, does it count to your female audience if my girlfriend is watching with me right now? Get her ass on a laptop. No. Give her, get her on her phone or a laptop. Open up a tab. <laughs> get her as sub. What a shitty boyfriend. Not buying a Kony subscription for your gal. Huh? 
Tell her to subscribe, too. <laughs> Gift her the gift of a Kony subscription. What's that hoodie? Looks comfy as hell. This is the, um... This is the Ivy... Or the Ven Ivysaur, Ivysaur one. That's what it was for the first uh, Ultimate Summit. Second Ultimate Summit. It's cute. I like it. Thank you, Flawless. Does it count to your audience if I just lie about my gender? Yeah, but don't do that. I want to earn it. I gave my girlfriend a Coney sub, and I now lo no longer have a girlfriend. <laughs> That's the Coney effect. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know where that's going. Now she's into me, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> but she's... Uh, what? She stole, I stole her, but I'm in the computer? <laughs> I don't... <laughs> All right. She was only with you for the Coney sub. Yeah, I guess that's the logical end of that bit. Yeah. My girlfriend and my mom both hate Coney. You wouldn't believe how much I hear that. I hear that a bunch. Thank you, Xanak, for the Prime. I hear that a lot. You can't stand me, dude. You know what I really want to do tonight? And this is not a bit. I want to run some Sporkles. I don't know why. I'm going to Sporkle tier list mood. But I don't know why. I No, but the problem is on Sparkle, you got to plan it. You got to, like, get them all lined up and ready to go. You know what I mean? I, 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 can't, I can't just pop them out. If you go down the site, it doesn't work. It's not good. I'm in a Sparkle kind of mood. Feeling some sporkle, maybe some movies, maybe a cheeky tier list. I have an unhinged tier list idea that I'm doing next week, by the way. <laughs> it's a smash tier list, but it's it's um big. I know, I know it's smash, I know, but this one's the most smash it's ever been. We are currently making a Twitch account for my girlfriend, and I'm going to buy a sub for her. She's begging me because you read what I wrote. Hey! <laughs> That's the power of the influence. The word comes up on the screen, and the man in the computer reads it, and then you give the man some money. It's like I'm on a street corner playing a guitar. Currently in the frame maker's waiting room. Oh, I forgot that came out today, but it didn't. It's not out yet, right? If I just read all of chat, will I be a millionaire? I like your funny words, Magic Man. Influence. Coney, what's your opinion on the Lego games? Never played them. I'm too old for them. Never into it. Not yet. It's never coming out. Read this. Okay. <laughs> I walked into that one. That's my bad. What was the title of today's video? Dude, I don't know. A lot of people said they loved it. Cool. I thought it was really funny because the, the Donkey Kong video came out and there was like a top comment that was like, wow, Cody not using clickbait, lol, it shows what the actual video is about. And the next fucking video is Obama I canting with a fish. <laughs> you don't, don't think you know me. Don't try to put me in a fucking box. You don't know me. You don't know who I am. I'll do whatever I want. And I'm not even doing it. <laughs> my my YouTube guy will do whatever he wants. Never let him know your next move. Yeah. What video was supposed to have the six-minute raid ad? The one with the three-minute raid ad. <laughs> it cut down a little bit. What are your thoughts on the supposed Nick All-Stars 2 leak? Where? What? You're kidding. You're kidding. Drop that link immediately. Drop that link right now. Please. What if it's not made by the same team? <laughs> it's a different team. Look at Hungry Box. Wait, are you serious? <laughs> this is not real. Guys, this is not real. <laughs> That's offensive. 
What the fuck is that? That's not real. Uh, why does this seem more real than just a model to me? That's not real. No way, right? I hope it's real. Oh, wait, I gotta make myself smaller. Oh, wait, no, I don't, because I'm playing uh, Perfect Lie in a second. Hold on, I'll move these up. We're gonna finish off Perfect Lie. Vince, I'm calling an audible. <laughs> Remember that idea that you pitched that I said I would do tonight? I'm not doing it. It's, it's, uh, <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll tell you in DMs. <laughs> Yeah, it'll be on the buffer. <laughs> okay. There's some there, there there's some great it's a great nugget of an idea. But I came in tonight and I was like, alright, we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that and it's gonna be fun. And then I literally checked it out right before I went live and I was like, ooh, maybe this won't be fun. I'm not gonna tell you what it is. Coney, I got finals to study, so I hope you have fun beating Perfect Lie. Thank you. I mean, the, the Perfect Lie is only eight more minutes. You might as well stick around. We're almost done. By the way, ads are starting soon. I don't even need to tell you what to do. You know what to do. Real fans know what to do. Real viewers know what's up. Fake viewers? Ad cells? Enjoy your time out. I'm going to look at Squidward. <laughs> This is not real. I don't believe this, but he's so... Why would this be Nickelodeon 2 and not just DLC? This looks like DLC. Like, it's got the same, like, blue and whatever thing, right? Any non-SpongeBob-related photos? The wheelchair has not been a model before. <laughs> this is all I've seen. A new Danny Phantom model has leaked. My soul wants this to be real, but my brain is saying don't get your hopes up. I'm is there more? Or is that it? Uh, uh, okay, no worries. Wait, is online dead? Damn. Do more Reddit videos? That's what I was going to do tonight. But uh, <laughs> that's the thing that we're not going to do. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. These are the hardcore fans, too. These are like the hardcore fans in the Reddit. So that shit ain't ever coming out. That joint dead. I really hope it... Wait, is there more? They're saying there's more leaks. Am I missing more? I guess it would be at the top of the Reddit. What the fuck is this thumbnail? This is awful. Too many words. Coney, do you want to explain the Cubone you sent Alpha Red? Oh, yeah. In case you guys didn't hear, um, Alpha Red did like an egg lock, which is like he... I, so I don't know exactly how it works, but it's like you get a Pokemon in the wild and then you retire it and you trade it out for an egg and it could be any of his influencer friends. And they picked a, a Pokemon and an item and a move. And I and, and I was like, all right, well, I like Cubone. I don't know any moves. Uh, throat Chop sounds really funny. And then uh, the item, I was looking through it, and I, I saw a bag of damp mulch. And I thought that would be pretty funny. Like, I would die. <laughs> I would die and they bury me in the mulch. You know what I mean? <laughs> I get to be buried in the mulch. But apparently, uh, Throat Chop isn't in the game. And Damp Mulch is actually Damp Rock. So my shit wasn't even funny. Which is annoying. What ability did you choose? I didn't pick one. People are saying 1,000 arrows. I don't know what that means. I guess I, I they said... They said if you don't pick an ability, they'll pick the one normal for that. So I was like, all right, well. So I guess that's it. 
Oh, that's the move? Okay, so they got that instead of throat chop. All right. Oh, whatever. I, I wasn't really, uh, I, I wasn't that involved. All right, so is this real or not? There's nothing other than that one picture? Wait, where, link the HBox video again. Hold on. Is this literally just him making a six-minute video about a model? All right. Yeah. He had three models. Never mind. And then he got Rick Gold. Omega laugh. Yeah, I... I don't... I don't know. Maybe. I don't really care. I love Nickelodeon, and I want Thaddeus to have more work to do. That's the only reason I care. If the second game is fun, amazing. But, you guys... I, I haven't talked about this on here, I think, but I talked about it on the show I did with TK. You guys, we knew about Nickelodeon and Multiverses before they dropped. We heard about them. They were rumored. And we were like, oh my god, that's so cool. Finally, there's going to be a platform fighter that isn't just Nintendo. We're going to have more options, more choices, and they have Viacom money and Warner Brothers money. These things are going to be huge. Think about the IPs. Even if one fails, surely one of the other ones will really pick up. There's no way $2 billion media conglomerate platform fighters would fail. Not both of them. Coney, have you seen the Toho platform fighter coming out? See, you've said that a few times, and I keep ignoring it, and I wish you would stop asking. Why would I give a shit? <laughs> uh, Toho? What the fuck? Why am I going to play a Toho platform fighter? What the fuck? I said that once. I saw it at least twice. I saw it at least twice. I saw you say it at least one other time. Because I ignored it. I was like, I'm not going to read that shit. You think I'm going to play a Toho platform fighter? What if it's sick, though? I, I actually don't care. <laughs> I'm not doing it. I hear Rushdown Revolt is sick. Miss me with that. How many buttons is that? Oh, did, did he literally only say it twice? All right, let him live. Let him live. The guy that was talking about the Irishman yesterday spammed it like eight times. What the fuck is that guy saying? He got timed out, and then he got banned. <laughs> you guys see that yesterday? E Compton gave him a 600, and then he was like, what the fuck? And then he banned him. What the fuck is this kid's deal? Huh? I do love it when something is happening in chat, and I think everybody in chat sees it, but nobody says anything. <laughs> like, everybody in chat is like, this is weird, but if we talk about it, it's going to get more attention. So we're going to leave it alone. We're going to pretend like we don't see it. <laughs> I love that. That's my favorite. You guys get to see what it's like to be a streamer. When people come in and they're like, thoughts on drama? I'm like, dude, I... Andrew Tate got arrested. I... I'll make a joke. <laughs> How about a joke? I'll make one joke. Chat is on a bus. <laughs> There's a random guy just yelling. Yeah, I feel like we're, we're going to, like, summer camp, right? And everybody on the bus is having a good time. And there's a kid in the back playing with his toys alone, just screaming. I bullied a claimer once. That's not nice. We love the claimers. I love the claimers. I actually do wonder how many of the claim like what is the percentage? What is the saturation point where the claimers are viewers, right? Because no matter what, there I have ninety five thousand followers. There will always be one claimer who wants that free sub, right? There's always going to be one at least. So what's the ratio? You know what I'm saying? I hope this is real. I sincerely do. Thank you, Fluxwave. Congrats on claiming your sub. Thank you, Mana Ray. Thank you, X-Senpai. Thank you, Gorilla Lamp. Thank you, and I'm back to Xanak. I'm not thanking you twice. No free thank yous. 
Multiverse has started very strong, and I think it has the most potential to make a comeback. I agree with you that multiverses could... Oh, wait. No, I just realized this isn't back here. I think multiverses could come back, but I don't know how. Sincerely. The claim is such a funny bit because I went from a clueless person who spammed it to a regular on the stream. Really? And you're an... En Dude! A seven-month sub? Loney Shark, I'm glad you're here. That's amazing. That's amazing. Thank you so much. Oh, we need to do this, what PJ just did. Guys, pop this when the new people come in. <laughs> I like that a lot. That's good. We've had claim for seven months. Oh, dude, it's been a long time. It's crazy how long we've had the, the plus one sub thing, too. That's been years now. That's crazy. <laughs> Thank you, Pharaoh. Thank you, Samurai. Thank you, Shelladella. That's really funny. I hope there's a new... Any. What I was saying is, I think multiverses could come back, but I don't know how. I don't know how games get revived. How often does it happen, right? The classic story is always Siege. And then, like, Fortnite, like, comes and goes. No Man's Sky? No, but that's not the same, though. No Man's Sky isn't, like, a content platform. It's not, like, a, a platform fighter live service game. You know what I mean? It's not the same. Fortnite never died? Well, by died, I mean, like, just less relevant, right? Fortnite goes through, like, it oscillates. TF2? Well, maybe, I guess. That was just going free to play, though. That's like... You can only blow that load once. MVS needs actual good servers, and then it can cash in on more popular characters. Bro, okay, can we... Uh, now some time has passed. You know that HBO Max, that whole Warner Brothers deal? That definitely fucked them over, right? Right? They said that it didn't. I was like, that shit's going to be bad. Not because not because it's going to hurt their funding, but the, it, their licensing is probably in the gutter, dude. Please, give us... Uh, dude, give us... Who's, who's, a, who's a hot Warner Brothers character they could have cashed in on? There has to be... I don't even know who would be good now, honestly. Flash? I don't think superheroes work. I don't think Daffy Ducks work. Daffy Duck works. I think JoJo, maybe? Gandalf got shuttered, though. They said that it wouldn't hurt them, and then they put out the Gremlins and Marvin the Martian. I'm like, bro, you're you're kind of... <laughs> you're, not, you're not starting strong. You put out Black Adam, which I guess is a big deal, but then that movie bombed, right? Like, I, I feel like you're not you, you're not sending your best, right? <laughs> like, JoJo, maybe? I, I thought LeBron James would have moved the needle more, but... Harry Potter? I Okay. <laughs> Apparently, that was all planned. Uh, <laughs> that was all planned. I don't think that's happening anymore. I think things have changed. Yeah, it was supposed to be, like, Harry Potter and Ron Weasley and shit. Like, they, they had ideas. It just... What about Scorpion? I, I think he was planned, maybe. I don't know. Is a Joker supposed to be coming? Yeah, at some point. I don't know. They get, I'm, I'm, I love multiverses, and I want it to succeed, but I'm like, I don't know how games come back. I also don't know how games get released, bro. Like, shit like, um... Like, what happens to, like, Rumbleverse and Knockout City? You know what I mean? Like, those games are mad fun, but, like... They're on the shelf a month after they come out. I would hate to be a developer right now, right? Flintstones? Bro, I would have loved playing Fred. Oh my god. No content to keep people coming back. Same thing happened to ARMS. Well, I mean, they're adding content. It's just content in a platform fighter is different from content in Fortnite, right? In Fortnite, there's this 
this this aura of discoverability and like new experiences and shit, right? Feels like a crapshoot whether you get mega popular or die after a week. I don't know. I would hate to be a dev. But I would love to be a mobile dev. Because then I get to make amazing games. <laughs> games like the inimitable perfect lie. <laughs> oh, baby. There's only eight more minutes, apparently. We're almost done. I forgot I got storm shot. <laughs> We're going to finish it. We're just going to finish the game, all right? Let's finish up the game, and then we're going to be done. Ooh, daily reward. $200. <laughs> this music. I, I never... Wait, why am I back at 90? Did I prestige? He has been bunking school lately. I should have stopped at number one. Get me out of here. So long, suckers. All right. Nah, that, that dog. Hell no, nah, I'm not feeding that dog. All right, let's check out the hideout. We looped in the game. Now let's see what all there is to see in the game. All right, we got to watch a bunch of ads now. <laughs> so you're going to get the real Coney experience. All right, here we go. Let me turn this down. Oh, never mind. If we just get this ad over and over. I just want to see to the depths of how far this game goes. You know what I mean? Ta-da! Ooh, some lovely lights. What's next? Uh, go this one. This one. This guy is so fucking dumb. Uh, that one first. Oh, no. There's no way to win this one. The game was rigged from the start. No way to win this one. You're dead. Sorry, that was a saw trap. But one of the later saw traps where you can't win. No, you're dead. You're dead again. What a fool, by the way. He's so confident. He never wins. Download and solve the puzzles now. Okay. Your dog is no more had me in tears yesterday. It, the crazy thing is that wasn't even my dog. The game tried to guilt me about a dog that I never owned. Nor ever claimed to own. Uh. <laughs> is this that lust game? All right, he's just roaming Westeros, claiming women. I don't like this. <laughs> oh my god. More beauties from many lands are awaiting you. Uh, Royal Delights in Medieval Time. Game of Lust. YouTube will not see this one. No, no, no. I don't think so. A Christmas tree! More to Skipping that shit. Okay. Nintendo? I'm getting ads for actual games now. That's nice, I guess. All right. I <laughs> Thanks, Nintendo. I heard Tunic is good. I don't know. I never played it. That shit's not a mobile game, though. I'm asleep. All right. Damn, a staircase. Wait, when does this max out? <laughs> a, a raging demon toilet? Go up. Go up for three. No, you can't fight two. That is so many women. You go up there, get five, go to four. He's dead. That gets you to nine. Now you go down here. Kill that guy. Kill this guy. Yup. And that's 17. Go to 15 now. Go to 15. You want to go 15. This guy doesn't know numbers, dude. Go up. We go five, then we go two. I won. That <laughs> came mad easy. Dude, how many ads do I have to watch? Oh, not this shit. <laughs> Fire Emblem. Engage. As you journey across four kingdoms. Enter each Coney, run stream ads. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Let me do that. Guys, I'm going to pop some ads while we watch ads. Okay? 
just so you guys can get those out of the way for the future. If you don't want to see ads, drop a Prime Tier 1. You guys know what it is. Go ahead and subscribe. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run the ads. Here we go. 3, 2, 1. They literally say it just like how you said it in game. Wait, really? <laughs> Engage. That's my shit. By the way, I got another email for another one of those streams. So if the price is right, we might be taking another uh, trip on board the Enterprise. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Picard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did, uh, we did a Star Trek stream for a bounty once. And we got chat to engage. That's my shit. Subscribe to avoid ads and instead watch Coney watch ads. Yup. Hey, we got to max out the tree fort. Hell yeah. Oh, I love this one. You know I love this ad, bro. D oh, no. <laughs> no, all the pieces are stuck. Do you think they do this on purpose? I feel like they do. I feel like they do. If, if, like, you have a one in three chance to get it stuck, right? That has to be it. But then that's also assuming this is well-coded enough that that happens. Which I don't think is true. Oh, they put a door on the house. Oh, what, what is it now? Not again. Marth again, dude? Wait, is it Marth and Roy? Like the red and the blue? I don't think it is, right? <laughs> this is now a Nintendo stream. I don't want to collect the 12 emblem rings. I'm not interested. But this one is shorter. At least this ad is short. Did we do it? Hell yeah. The hideout is maxed. Perfect. No, 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 no. I just wanted to do... Oh, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. I was going to go look at my missions. I finished them. So, uh, sorry, I lost control. Sorry, I lost control. What? Get away from me, creep. You're my teacher. I'll give it up. Get away from me and creep? By the way, I'm five, actually. <laughs> Come to think of it, that's not very supportive. Five-year-olds are curious. Maybe you should allow me a little bit of, you know, leniency here. A five-year-old creep? I already have a hoverboard. No, I don't want it. Keep walking slow. Did you prestige? Yeah, I did. I'm, I'm seeing if there's anything else, but I don't think so. The missions. Yeah, we finished the game. We finished the game. That's perfect lie, everybody. We lied our way to the top. I'm a legendary falsifier. No, I didn't want to play anymore. <laughs> if you click anywhere on the screen, it starts up. Oh, hold on. Let me get this kid one more time. Hold on. <laughs> Dumbass. Why did you move my chair? He's so mad. How foolish. Oh, wait. I forgot we had that shot game. Do you think that's even worth playing? <laughs> That game gave me a headache. Is that shot game even... Try it? I'll play one level. I'm going to look at it. I'm just going to look at it with my eyes. I'm not going to play the whole thing. I'm going to look at it with my eyeballs. Fun plus King's group. All right. I love when Cody full screens his face cam so I could kiss him right on the mouth on my monitor. Most people have to pay for that. You have to like give up channel coins. Like for high fives and shit. You can't be stealing kisses. I don't consent. Wait, is this okay? I'm 14 years older. Agree. Yeah. I'm a little worried now. Is this game like... We, uh, okay. I don't want to, I don't care about this. Game. I don't, can I skip? I don't care. 
Is this, is this game actually what I thought, what it said it was? I want to shoot the gun. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, this is just like the one in the ad. Kapow! <laughs> Your shiny bald head sure makes for a good target. <laughs> He's so dashing. He's so dashing. My hero. All right, this one actually is in the right uh, aspect ratio, so let me go down a bit. <laughs> He's dancing! Oh. Yeah, that's fucking Chris Hemsworth. Blast him, Chris! All right. <laughs> Victory! I just want to shoot him again. I don't want to play... I don't want to base build. I just want to shoot stuff. No, Peggy. No, Elizabeth. I wanna. I don't want to do any of this. Oh, here we go. Hmm. <laughs> Where? I think here. Damn it! That tricky spirit. Gotcha. <laughs> Pirates and ghosts are nothing compared to what we might encounter through the rest of our adventure. I just want to shoot stuff. I don't want the rest of this. Claim your awards now. Okay. <laughs> this is kind of fun, actually. Uh-oh. Looks like I got to shoot something. Wait. Oh, I got to reinforce the stronghold. Upgrade it. Oh, it's one of these On games. my way. Oh, it's an art. Oh, it's Warcraft. Bro, I just want to shoot stuff. Upgrade. Alright, it's time to shoot. <laughs> oh, hell no. What kind of ghastly contraption is this? What is this? Pow! <laughs> Dude, this game rules. This game is... Don't like that. Don't like that. I won't miss again, Blackbeard. Oh, do impress me. Bullets don't lie. How could you ever shoot me as I stand upon this levitating platform? What will you do now, Captain Crips Hemsworth? What shall you do? Oh! <laughs> I could never have foreseen that. I am slain. Ouch! <laughs> <laughs> this game is so fucking funny. Uh, what, what do I do now? Uh, rescue Peggy. Chains unlocked one out of seven. No ads, by the way. Oh, no. Each of the key only takes one. Uh, take her pants off. Relax. No. That's not going to help her get out of chains. Sharpshooter. Hold on. Oh, level four. Okay, now I could just play the game. I found a gemstone from the pirate. Okay, so now I get to just play the game. Embed the gem. This is so stupid. I gotta click all over the screen. Level five. Oh, what is this? Got him. I really do feel like a, 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 a seafaring captain. <laughs> Why is this satisfying? This is deeply satisfying in a, in a very strange way. Oh no, Blackbeard's devious machinations have never seen anything like this. Never mind, I figured it out instantly. <laughs> Got it. This guy just, just shoots people. That's all he does. There's no adventuring or buccaneering. Unlocks after chapter one. Continue your story? Yeah. This game is funny. Alright, I think we're good. Uh, I have some YouTube movies that I wanted to watch. <laughs> um. <laughs> the first one. Hold on. Play Fears to Fathom? Oh, <gasps> I forgot that existed. You're right. I'll play that tonight, actually. That's a good idea. Let's beat that tonight. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot that was up. I was going to do wrestling, but I think wrestling has to be its own stream. Because that game's going to take a little while. But I think we're going to do a bit of YouTube movies. Yeah, we're doing some movies now. Uh, <laughs> and we're starting with... This shit sounded uh, funny to me. And I hope, <laughs> I hope it sounds as funny to, to, to you as it does to me. Somebody linked it in the Discord. This is a Hitman reacting <laughs> to Hitman 3. <laughs> and I opened this. I saw the golf ball. It's just the Hitman. Oh, yeah, that would never work. Nobody's ever going to fall for that. <laughs> I don't think that's going to work. You can't you can't get him to hit the golf ball. He's not getting away with that one. Is he an actual hitman? I don't know. It says he is. Is this okay for sponsor? We'll see. <laughs> These are smart hits. And it's going to be dumb if that guy, you know he's going to hit that. That's the hitman? This dude, Matt LeBlanc, he's like jacked up Joey from Friends. Oh, that's a smart, oh, so, okay. I thought he would hate the golf ball kill, but he said that shit's nice. He said, hell yeah. These are smart hits, <laughs> and it can be done if that guy, you know he's going to hit that ball. Every time. <laughs> yeah, that's what I would have did. That's the technique. He's, there's nothing he can do about it. He's not even looking. Give him a quick push. He's done. <laughs> yeah, that's what I would have done, too. You just push him off the roof. Get him the fuck out of here. Get that dude the fuck out of here. How much... How many is this guy? Can't, hold on. You guys can't see. Uh, it says he's John Alight, ex-hitman. By the way, would this put a target on your head? By saying that you used to be a hitman, I feel like you would get in trouble. Absolutely, yeah. Not if he ain't in the USA. Wait, he's on Wikipedia? What? Albanian-American former Gambino crime family associate who later in his life became a government witness agreeing to testify against the crime family and John A. Jr. Gotti in 2008. How is this dude not dead? He estimated that he shot between 30 to 40 people, beat about 100 people with a baseball bat, and murdered six people. Jesus Christ! Oh my God! He's a snitch? How is he alive? I thought, like, you know... Later, he featured a Gameology React video on Hitman 3 where he provided commentary on the game and how it compared to his exploits. His exploits? His antics? His mischief? That doesn't feel like a strong enough word. His adventures? <laughs> Misadventures, I would say. Oh my god, dude. Alright, alright, he's real. Real deal, bro. Here we are again today for Experts React. I'm John Elite, ex-Hitman of Elite. the Gambino Elite. family. Check out Hitman 3. Let's do it. <laughs> we just did a bounty. Check it out. Talk it down. This Boys, is great. It's... Anytime I see something like this, where they know somebody's sitting there, they're doing something, they're, they're vulnerable, and you can do something quietly and get out of there fast, especially with drinks. If so did he say this is great? That woman just dropped dead from poison. He's like, yeah, this is great. <laughs> Talk it down. This is great. <laughs> oh, yeah. Love that one. Love that one. Thanks. That's great. If somebody's good at what they're doing. This is what they'll do. Okay. What's the most common way of killing someone when hired? Oh, my God. <laughs> it would be something with a pill, with a drink, with a shot with arsenic or something when they're walking by and they okay. don't realize in the crowd if you could do something Simple. like that that's the way to do it now got it that is great yeah these are all good hits these are hits where it's done quietly and uh, without a lot of detection keeping it very simple without any noise without uh this a, a big, big fan scene. of 47 so far uh i really like the way that they're, they're handling this game he's starting to get the itch again bro is starting to get hungry He's feeling it a little bit. Got to get back in the game. Again, it's good. He's in higher ground. He's up top, very quiet. Found a, a location, whether it's through a window, through a skylight, and nobody spots him, and he's out. 
another good hit. So now I know why they call this game Assassination 3. They do. <laughs> Did he not, not fix that in editing? Did nobody stop him? Nobody was like, bro, that's not... Uh, <laughs> fuck it. You couldn't even ADR it? He legally can't say Hitman. It's part of the plea deal with the government. You can't say Hitman. He can say Hit and Man, but you can't say it together. Would you stop him? I would not correct him. That's true. That's true. Good also, again, it's quiet, it's technology. You don't need to use a gun like people think or a knife. You know, same with air conditioning systems, house systems, you have carbon dioxide that kill people silently. That's no different. Oh my God, okay. Ventilation system, you gotta breathe air. So if you poison that air quality, it's a, a quiet hit. Nobody knows what happens. It's very hard to detect and even That's check so true. how they died. So it's very, down. very, very well true, John. Good hit. Is there a bad is hit? In quiet? It says, how hard is leaving the crime scene unseen? Like that, fairly easy to leave the crime scene because the way you, you got in from whatever information you got, whether you broke alarm systems or you came in through a, a cut fence or through grounds that don't have a fence, obviously he knew what he was doing. He got in there, so whatever way he came in, you're coming out the same way. Sure. And if you're not making any noise or tripping alarms, it's fairly easy. You got to remember that you're doing it at your pace, your time is done real well. Whether it was by him or somebody counterpart. Cool. You're not the boss. Oh, God. Oh. Kind of that I didn't like. I'm <laughs> it's a little bit too gruesome for me, if I'm being honest. I'm not really a fan of that one. You got to keep it a little simple, you know, not trying to hurt nobody. I mean, Bad I hit. Use a, a you're not the boss. Belt and suspenders kind of guy. That I didn't like. I mean, I wouldn't use a, a garrote because of DNA, touching the body, That's you're true. leaving DNA, right. picking up the body and moving, it's not necessary. Mm -hmm. Even if they're gonna find her, they're gonna find her in one second after that. If they come in the bathroom looking for her, they're gonna look around to try to find her anyway. So mm, it's a cool scene. Hit. I just wouldn't use the technique. Sorry, Hitman. Not good. Electrocute! I went <laughs> Electrocute with a car battery? Use it if you me. I wouldn't do that. Bad hit. That also, I wouldn't use it. If you're in there already, you need to do something quiet that makes noise. If you're gonna electrocute, there's gonna be screaming and yelling, and there's gonna be a <laughs> shortage with the electric outlets. Yeah. So I wouldn't have did it that one. Yeah, I, I guess target not. Down. What's the biggest bounty you've seen for a target? Done 47. In the mob world, you don't really get a bounty on somebody, but in the street, you do. The hits that I've seen in Europe where they're offering up to two million with guys. And I think that's realistic depending Jeez. on what the guy is doing and the kind of money he's making. So they do offer them up a hundred thousand is is usually a number you hear from different hits around the world and different places. Wait, so is it two million or a hundred thousand? A hundred thousand to kill somebody doesn't sound like a lot. Right? It's not a crazy amount of money. It's not unrealistic to see. One hundred K is the base. Okay. Oh my god, Katana Slash! That's what flat? I was saying earlier. See, it's quiet, it's fast, it's one movement, and you're out. Something like that is realistic. <laughs> That's realistic? A fucking Katana? Good hit. Whoop ha! Really? Bro, snuck into a house with a Katana, got it in one slice? That's realistic? And for the game itself, it's pretty cool. She literally shouted out. <laughs> I would never move the body again. Doesn't make sense. He's dragging blood anyway, and that blood's gonna come across the room. They're gonna come in looking for her anyway. He's right. DNA, I wouldn't touch it. He's right about that one. Target down. Oh, and the knife, if you're a knife expert, yeah, it's good. If you're not a knife expert, just go up to the body. You're there anyway. It's five more steps. And yeah. if it's the time of the th time of the essence, why would thing, you throw it? You're going up there and dragging the body anyway, so you yeah. might as well just get up close. No um, reason again, to throw it. For the yeah. game, it's something different. It's I like it. I mean, it's action. It's moving. It's fast. I like it. Okay. Nitroglycerin throw? Nitroglycerin. I mean, if there's several targets, no different than throwing a small grenade or something, and you want to hit three <laughs> or four people, yeah, it's good. But it's as good. far as if you're trying to get in and out of there quietly and there's other security, it's bad. But for the game purpose, it's another way to assassinate somebody. It actually would be used somewhere if there's several people that you got to hit at once. Yeah, maybe in like some a... Some sort of bomb. It's pretty good. Like a war zone? A <laughs> shuriken. Well done, 47. Now I don't know if maybe for like a, ninja. a star or something like that, but if you miss the target, it's a problem. She's going to scream and yell. And 
She had security right there, so I'm not with throwing anything. <laughs> yeah, you might as well do it the right way while you're there. But just, you don't leave it to chance. Bad hit. Drowning's a good way. It's quiet. In this, they get, she gave a little yelp. If you catch him on suspecting and you get him in the water immediately. If oh my god. Which you can, it's a lot stronger. Oh, it wouldn't be any it. noise. Drowning's worse. Oh, Jesus. Talk it down. Well, to me, these are perfect hits. I'm not a sniper, but I got friends that are snipers that are, you know, in armed forces. So if you're across another building and uh, and say it's not occupied and you can get into another apartment and, and hit somebody like shooters? that. shooters? And you're an expert. Oh it's very, my very God, hard. dude. We just did that hit actually in Europe about two years ago. What? Did he just confess to murder? Occupied, and you can get into another apartment and, and hit somebody fuck? like that. And you're an expert. Hold on. It's very, very hard. They just did that hit actually in Europe about two oh, years. Oh, they ago. just did that hit, bro. Is snitching. Ago, somebody was an expert sniper, and they wore women's clothes and heels, and went into a building on a rooftop and hit three guys. It's still done, and if you're that good, and there's a lot of snipers that are that good, great way to hit somebody, and not get caught. Talk it down. Is it that hard to snipe? I feel like it's not that hard. Like in a war, maybe, right? Yes? Are you sure? Very hard? Are you sure? I'm not talking about like a TF2 snipe. Not like in a video game where people are moving. If bro's sitting down and, and reading a book, right? You know what I mean? Watch a sniper reacting to sniping movie scenes. Ooh! Now that's a movie. Snipers literally have notepads full of math they have to do. Oh, you fucking geeks. <laughs> you nerds. Coney, have you shot a gun? Yeah. Just handguns. But I've shot a bunch. I've never... My dad's a gun guy, so that's how he bonded. He, he gave me a Beretta. I think it was a Beretta. It was a Browning, I think. And some other stuff. Yeah. Hitman IRL stream when? Do you think there's a way to do IRL Hitman? Not actually killing people, but like, is there a way to do content Hitman? You know what I mean? Like, like, have, how do I put this? Have one person be the Hitman and then invite a bunch of content creators to like be in a room and you have to detect it. But no, because if they know they have to detect him, it's not the same. Unless they don't know who they're detecting, right? Mmm, like a spy party kind of deal. Ah. Aha. Well, well, well. I don't know how you even manufacture that. Well done, 47. I'm not so much for throwing anybody off a balcony unless it's 10 stories or better. Also because of the noise factor, also because you're upstairs, you got to come down. So if there's not that many exits to leave from, uh, they could cover those exits if they have a lot of security. Not cover. a good hit. Not a good hit. If you knew somebody's going to touch that railing every day or lean on it, yeah, it's good. The no. odds of getting somebody to do that every day and know they're going to do yeah, that. Yeah, that's tough. And not somebody else, uh, then they know that there's going to be a hit on them. Yeah, I don't know how you're going to get somebody that to do or, that. Or but... dies from that, not the person that you tended. So, no, right. not for that hit either. But no, bad hit. Hate. It's a good hit. It's scary and it's unique. So, it was cool in its own way. Yes. Good. I don't think it's a good hit. Wire plug and water trap? If they were going to do it like that, and they're walking with him anyway, and he's still going to use a gun, we should have just shot him right while he's standing there next. <laughs> Why did he just shoot him? <laughs> not another railing. I don't know what that was, if he was involved and he was security for him, and, or he <laughs> snuck in and did that. So if he's security for him, I understand the kill like that because that's his opportunity. It doesn't matter. Cause Would he even die from this? Security with them inside. It doesn't look that far. I guess if he's old. But if he snuck in and did that, again, he's on an upper level. He's got to get out. He's, there's yelling going on. 
too much time to get out of the building. It mm. gives all the security to catch him. So you? I'm not for that. Not for that, bad hit. Not another knife throw. You? I would have just pushed him. Yeah, He's just push him. He's in security with them anyway. Just Come on. Don't push him. Unless you're a complete expert with that knife, it's not necessary to do it that way. I oh, just push him. Yeah, that's what I would have did. <laughs> I said earlier, right? So that's the technique. If you're going to, he's there. He's, there's nothing he can do about it. He's not even looking. You give him a quick push, he's yeah. done. What I said earlier, yeah. I guess they, they had the same opinion. <laughs> Again, he's taking things to chance. He shot if he misses the shot. If the timing's not right, the speaker don't fall at him. If you're going <laughs> to use the gun, why don't you just shoot him anyway? So I would just yeah. use the gun if that's what they're going to do. But yeah, just shoot the guy, man. Why you got to do this Looney Tunes ass setup? But not that. that shoot the guy. Is, for a real hit's ridiculous, but for a game, it's just something different, so I get it. There's more poisoning. This is a good hit, again, because this is new technology. They could have sent him uh, some other things, If you know he's the one things, that's going to eat that food and you poison it or his drink, there's nothing he could do about that, and it's 100% you got him. And it's done quietly, and the team is involved, obviously. Good Everybody's hit. there. Good hit. <laughs> it depends. What? Uh, he hit the O. <laughs> That food kind of spicy. Yikes. Or jumped into the air. When poisoned, how long does it take to take full effect? Depends on what the situation is. You know, if somebody's in a bar and they're drinking, you don't want it to be quick. You want them to drink the drink. It doesn't feel well. And meanwhile, the poison's we working. And they got to go back. There's True. maybe no more cameras no more of whoever was in there. You don't want them to know exactly when it happened. So True. in this situation, it looks like it's an inside job from everybody sitting there. Maybe it's not. So I wouldn't want it to be poisoned like arsenic like that quick. Sure. You want it slow acting. Two days, three days, four days. Bad hit. Somebody was up top, knew he was coming there, and they cut that line somehow. Or they knew he was going to stand there. I mean, yeah, it'd be a little more realistic to do that with a gunshot again. I didn't know you could do this in the game. That feels like cheating. Taking it to chance, you're taking that he's not going to move. You're taking it that that one shot is going to make that come down. You got him, 47. I love these hits like that with a little more I mean, intelligence because those are realistic. Realistic? You know parachuting all the time and you jimmy his parachute where it's not going to work or double parachute. But, but in this game, you're like in Dubai in a tower in the clouds. Their escape is to parachute back down to the earth. Is this, could, could this happen? Be done. And huh? It's done in a smart way, and no one can really prove it. On top of that, it'd be hard to prove if you're smart on the way you did it. So I, I like those kind of hits. Brings you back into a, a new era. These are smart hits. <laughs> That's smart hit. That's a solid, good hit. Savvy guy. You know how to Very put savvy. One together in a little bomb a like that. Yeah, it's kind of cool because it's something different, and it can be done. If that guy, you know he's going to hit that ball every day. We got him, 47. He hit the 180 after he hit the you golf know he's ball? Hit, that ball hit the 180. Ooh! <laughs> we got him, 47. Final thought is I like this game, actually. I thought it was... Bro has a Kenmore fridge. I don't know why that's so funny to me. He's got, like, a Kenmore fridge with, like, his daughter's... Drawing on the on the front of it. Oh my god. It was well done. They had a lot of different Snipper reeks if you really care like reacts things in it. I like the way they brought it across. So I I would play this game. I enjoyed this one. Thank you everybody. Check us out and johnelite.com on my website. My he has a website. Bro, what? Shop? Does he have merch? Books, baseball bat, autograph photos. Autographs? John captured in Brazil. Wait, the same kind of baseball bat that he used to beat people with? These bats have been customized, designed, and engraved, and individually hand signed by John. They make for the ultimate souvenir or gift for any John Elite fan. <laughs> And those are fascinated about what the Mafia once was. A portion of the proceeds from the sales of the bets will be donated to a youth charity. Oh, that's nice. You can get a video message, too. No fucking way. Personal 350. Oh, hey, how's it going, Coney? I heard you like the video and the good hits. Uh <laughs> oh, my God. 
Any message from him would sound like a threat, I think. I don't want that. How <laughs> much for a hit? <laughs> that's a, that's on the deep web. You got to install Tor for that. Oh, my God, dude. Yeah, why don't you hit me with a fat tip? <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is horrific. How much money does he have now, right? Because, like, if he was in the mod, they'd take all his fucking money, right? When someone subs, that's what I would have done. Yeah, that's, that's good. That's a smart decision. You definitely should use that subscription, particularly if you got the Prime, because the Prime lets you sub for free. There's no hassle, no hit to your credit. It's perfect. I want to go ahead and use that Prime. This is Sniper Reacts. 22 minutes? <sighs> ah, that's a tough sell. For geek shit? Bro is sniping. Jarhead, clear and present danger, save it. 22 minutes on the sniping? Nah. I don't think so. I think instead, I think it's time to learn. <laughs> Bro, I got I always had a question. I always been having a question. I think it's time to learn something new. Hold on. Right, I got to go over here. I'm not even watching one yeah! sniper <laughs> react. Not even a single one. Bro, what I want to know, honestly, dude, what I'm curious about how those Mario characters get their names, bro? I know Mario, right? <laughs> I know Mario, but that's it. By the way, this also came from the Discord, so thank you. I know him. Where? How the hell they get Toe, bro? Have you ever wondered For how real? <laughs> oh, Nintendo came up with the name Mario. Nah, I know or that. Why one. a big gorilla is named Donkey Kong? I think In this that's video, just King we'll Kong take a look thing, at right? eight iconic Mario characters and trace. Yo, <laughs> look at the Toad! Oh my God, look at him! Oh, versions of their name. He's so cute. As for how I decided which characters to cover, he's adorable. I thought the Mario Kart 64 roster was look at perfect. Look his little eyes. Let's take a look. It's me, Mario. It only seems right to start with the title character. Are you sure you don't want to know how many Super Mario games there are? Mods? Get that guy the fuck out of here. Mario's name changed. You know I don't want to know that. Early days. Come so on. Let's start at the beginning. In March of 1981, Nintendo began working on a new arcade game to replace right, their this unsold guy talks radar slow. machines. It was initially going to be a Popeye game. But due to technical Bro, actually, we already saw the design thing. I feel like this is going to be the same shit. I feel like we're watching the same movie. Wait a minute. <laughs> Maybe it's too early to watch this movie right after we saw the other one. Mm. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Instead. <laughs> Instead... Here's really stupid cryptids. <laughs> That's way better. These have been hard times for a museum. I have to see these. Hello. Welcome back to the Budget Museum. Hello! Or at least, what was the Budget Museum? You see, these have been hard times for a museum that does not exist. You weren't kidding when and you I said you had a backlog? <laughs> Brother. You don't know the half of it. <laughs> you see this? You see this? Now, some of these are for personal viewing, and look at the first one right there. You don't know the half of it. Some of these are for me. I want to see this Say Jam video so bad. I'm down to watch it if you guys want to. It's about injustice. because I fu Injustice is so fucking funny to me. Injustice is extremely funny as a game. We'll watch it after Cryptids. Somebody linked this in the Discord. Uh, worst team in Hell's Kitchen in history. I'm not a Hell's Kitchen guy, but I thought it might be funny. Uh, I got Watch Mojo videos that I save for later. 
just in case for a rainy day. This one was interesting to me because I thought Let It Die was kind of an interesting, like, game idea. You know what I mean? So I was like, oh, let me watch that. That one's for me. Um, PS1 launch games is backlog. Oh, I, I watched the Bioshock one. This guy got recommended to me, the guy that made the video on Kanye and stuff. I was like, oh, let me check this out. I didn't actually watch it. I think that's autoplay. I was mad curious about Mortal Kombat. Like, I got a lot of... I wanted to read... I wanted to listen to something about married with children. I got weird interests, bro. I was curious. Also, this Simply video has been sitting in here forever. I definitely want to watch that. Have we watched this one? What games are like for somebody who doesn't play games? I feel like we watched that, but I don't know. I feel like we watched that. That sounds familiar. <laughs> Why is it Chinese? I never thought that was a Chinese sound. All right, let's watch the cryptids. I might have done a few wrong things. Tax evasion, money laundering, fraud, and in return, my museum license has been taken away. But don't fret. Because I have something just as good. Yeah? Introducing the budget, uh, Emporium. Step right in, step right in. To see creatures you've never seen before. Mm -hmm. That's because, show although me. I can't talk about real animals, I can show the wonders <laughs> of creatures that science has not yet accepted as real. The fuck is that? Reality. For anyone oh unaware, God. these creatures, That's horrific. called cryptids, are animals in oh the cryptozoology pseudoscience. Creatures without any scientific evidence to back their existence, but plenty of folklore and legend. Okay. Think Bigfoot and Nessie. Sure. But unfortunately, due to my um. Did bro just say unfortunately? Budget. I was unable to afford it's a fun any way of these to say high profile cryptids. It? I like that. So I've instead opted for the stupidest and most ridiculous. I mean, outlandish and hair raising monsters you've ever seen. Are you ready for oodles of fun and fright? Yes! Then let's get started. Mermaids are one of the more well-known mythological creatures. Mm -hmm. Starting in ancient times, the idea of fish people has always amazed humans. Fascinating. And they've been searching for them ever since. Chris Columbus swore he saw a mermaid while sailing to the New World, but this was probably a manatee. <laughs> and on conspiracy channels and documentaries, you will find plenty of people still Dude, I... searching for mermaids. What's crazy to me is you see a manatee and you're like, damn, she's pretty. That is a gorgeous fish. Damn. She kind of bad, though. <laughs> is he a fucking manatee and you think it's a gorgeous lady in the ocean? Now, physical evidence for mermaids is a bit more hard to find. That's what being stuck Mainly at sea will do. Oh, that's true. You're right. do not exist. Yeah, that's Yet true. People have I forgot, you've been on a boat for months. Specimens, the most famous of which was P.T. Barnum's B.G. Mermaid. Let me see. Behold. The mermaid ah! restored to its beauty. Oh my god. Just look at that face. Cool. Now, if you can't tell already. This thing yeah. is composed of the body of a fish uh -huh. with the torso of a primate tsunami. Back in the day, it was convincing enough for many Americans who came Thank to the attraction in droves to view the specimen. That joint would have fooled many me. Many were probably enticed by newspaper ads showing an illustration of the creature, only to see, once again, <laughs> This. Of oh course, nowadays, no one is fooled by these creatures. Well, and copies of Barnum's original can be seen around the world in various places as more of a charming novelty. Why does it have hair? Who gave it hair? I'm fooled. I would have fallen for this. Dude, whenever I hear people talk about, like, the old circus and, like, freak show stuff, I'm like, God damn! That's horrifying. I would have been... I, 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 like, at that movie screening where the train comes at the theater and then people, ha like, fainted and had heart attacks and shit, I would have been running out of that theater screaming. I personally someday Absolutely. hope to find a Fiji mermaid as a way to round out the home. Good heavens! But the real mystery now is what actually happened to the original fake. Wait. It's presumed that Barnum's mermaid was <laughs> lost in either of the two museums it was stored in, both of which burned down. But a few places what? around the world claim to have the original... From if that's fake, Island then what the is Peabody it? Body Museum. Of course, all of these are probably just chasing the fame and glory of, might I remind you, a monkey stuck to a fish. 
Half monkey, half fish? Okay. Now, here's a few cryptids which are supposed to be taken as jokes. Uh-huh. Fearsome critters is a catch-all term for animals made up by Americans at the turn of the 20th century. The hoogog? That is a fearsome creature. It's like a Dr. Seuss creature, but like in epic Mickey horrifying style. Dude, I, I couldn't have imagined being Lois and Clark, right? It's got no knees. Oh, true. How does it sleep? How does that shit lay down? It just has to like... Uh, doom. <laughs> that shit can't even lay down. It just falls. Lewis and Clark, the guys that scouted America, you shits. Do you not know what I'm talking about? You think I'm talking about Lois Lane and Clark Kent? You stupid motherfuckers. Is that what you're thinking? You said Lois. No, I didn't. I said Lewis. Do you not? Did you guys not go to that class in school? Hmm? <laughs> this is so stupid. How does it get back up? Wait, I guess that's true. It could lay down just by by just sort of exhausting itself. How does it get back up, though? I said Lewis. Go back and watch the tape. <laughs> so dumb. It uses the mouth to prop itself up. Oh, well, like a battle bot? Like... <laughs> it falls down and it hits the... <laughs> which are supposed to be completely unbelievable and silly. These mythical animals were usually If I were them, I would have absolutely Great not region, known what I saw if I saw jokes. like a bear, right? There may be ways to haze new lumberjacks with that outrageous stories they're meant to believe. What if you saw a bear Since for then, the first a few time, dude? have been made modern American folklore, Horrifying. such as the jackalope or the hide behind. <laughs> but I feel that some the what? such as the jackalope or the hide behind. That thing is called a hide behind. It's so cute. That's that's actually a bear. I think that is a bear. Right? OG Slenderman. It looks like a fly with the eyes. Dog tail. I mean, they could be lying about the tail. Why would a dog be hugging a tree, dummy? But I feel that some There's of no the way. better ones are critters which are not so well known. Just imagine, on yeah. a dark forest night, uh -huh. the grizzled men around you tell you the stories of terrors like the goofus, a species of bird said to fly backwards, uh, I... or the fur-bearing trout, <laughs> who grows a hairy coat it uses to survive its cold environment. Caught while trolling in Lake Superior off something cat... So, so you're trolling, all right. <laughs> oh, somebody's trolling indeed. It is believed that the great depth and the extreme... Oh, whatever. Okay, it's a fish with fur. <laughs> and, of course, the legendary hoop snake <laughs> name is self-explanatory. <laughs> okay, that, that one... That's a Dark Souls enemy, I think. I think I fought that. I love Among that. Among the world of cryptids. You have a few humanoids, I love hoop a few animals. So what could be more terrifying than combining those things into a normal guy dressed <laughs> up as an animal? Oh, no. No, it's not Batman, but it's the great spring Hill Jack, the leaping horror of London. Okay. Okay, so maybe Is this he is like a guy or... A bit. I mean, this guy sort of just looks like a guy. Yeah. But I still include him due to his mysteriousness and unnatural abilities. What? Starting in the 1830s, women across <laughs> London told stories of a man who would attack them. His description varies, but supposedly he wore a cloak with a tight-fitting shirt and uh. boots, and long claws and red eyes like <laughs> fireballs on a gruesome face. What? His signature powers seemed to be vomiting blue and white flames. Which he didn't do very well, because there's no cases of him actually burning anybody. Huh? And of course, his incredible ability to jump pretty far in the air. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I can't jump over tall fences. <laughs> but I expected more from a supernatural being. So wait, so he just... He, uh, he jumps really high and kidnaps women. That's... That's a bored time traveler? <laughs> Dude, oh my god, if I was a time traveler, oh dude. 
everybody says they would like do shit like become king or you know predict stuff like crypto whatever i feel like you could just like fuck with people right you just go be batman in like the 1800s <laughs> that might be kind of fun right just go back there and troll yeah they still have guns all right, the 1700s, where there are no guns. How about that? He went back in time with a pair of moon shoes. Dude, you know what they should do? Oh, my God. They should make a movie about time travel. And it's like there's, uh, there's like a syndicate of people that travel through time, and they go back in the... They go into the future, and they kill people. Um, and they kill people in the future, and then they go back to the past, so it's like a time-traveling thing. And then to cover their tracks, they should do a thing where they have to kill themselves at the end, but they don't know. They shoot themselves, uh, and they have, like, a bag on their head. And they do that, and they get paid a lot of money, so that's why they do it, right? They should be, like, an assassin guild that does that. That'd be a sick movie, actually. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that would be so cool, man. I, I That would be so cool. You got to sell the rights to that movie? I just came up with that. That's right off the top of the dome. That's really cool. <laughs> Over the decades of the 19th century, spring Heeled Jack would spend his time... I want to go back in time and make that movie. Yeah. ...looking upon people, looking at them all creepy, and vomiting mildly frightening heaps of fire towards them. So, <laughs> what was the origin behind this odd jumping character? Yeah, what was this dude doing? Before the legend even spread... There were multiple cases of women being attacked by a weird man, so it must be a bit more than just complete myth, right? Well, some really do think it's just a case of mass hysteria, a condition where groups of people will suddenly just lose their minds for a uh, while. Okay. But there are also theories of Spring-Heeled Jack, in fact, being many Jacks. It's possible this was a group of young aristocratic gang men of Jacks. playing tricks on the Thank public you, birds of black. Of course, I don't know how the power of the prank fueled these men to jump nine feet in the air or spew fire, but those might just be exaggerated details. Oklahoma octopus? Okay. So this one struck me because I was looking through a book called Atlas Obscura, which, by the way, is a great book if you ever want to see is, the less well-known no places ocean you can travel to. In Oklahoma. Anyways, how the hell they get on one octopus? page, they show many of the lake monsters of the United States. There are some pretty familiar shapes here. You have plenty of plesiosaurs, uh -huh. a few humanoids, Nessies. some pretty spooky... That one looks like an eel with a pig face. I want to meet that one. What state is that? What's above Tennessee? Kentucky? What state is that? I love that one. The pigfish. The pilg. <laughs> I like that. This one's just a turtle. <laughs> with, like a, with like a stingray tail. Turtles. And that's a cougar? And then, boom, octopus. Yes, oh. supposedly in the deep abyss of lakes in Oklahoma, there lives monstrous freshwater octopi. Malicious cool. monsters who drown unsuspecting swimmers. After all, if there was no giant evil octopus, why have drownings in Oklahoma I'm in Louisville. You want to come? Yeah, 10,000 subs, I'll go to Kentucky. The most year in history. And not one now, sub less. an octopus doesn't seem too ridiculous. I mean, it's no hoop snake. You I might even be snake. asking, why can't octopi live in freshwater lakes? Well, like many saltwater animals, octopi are adapted solely for the high salinity of the ocean. They love the salt. An octopus's body is designed to pump out salt and conserve pure water. Yeah, they love that. If they were in freshwater, they would essentially absorb too much water and die. So they would have octopus to Octopus fucking suck. Mods! I love octopus. I love them. They're so smart. I love octopus. I know you're supposed to say octopi to octopuses. I just try to avoid it entirely. So I just, whenever I refer to a group of octopus, I just say octopus. The, like the singular. I love smart animals. Octopus and, and pigs. And those are the two. Dolphins are supposed to be smart, but apparently they're bad. <laughs> They're, they should be canceled for the shit they be doing. Crows? Don't like crows because they're birds. Don't like crows. They're creepy, too. They be, like, portenders of death and shit. I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. 
Orcas? No. Not really into orcas either. Don't like fish. A complete morphological change to live in such an environment. Also, come on. Lake Octopi. Out of all the animals to be in a landlocked Aww. state, you have one which only lives it's in the ocean. Cute. Oh, I thought that was its eye. Here we go. Oh, it got me. The Oklahoma octopus is especially funny because I'm 99 sure every large lake in Oklahoma is man-made. Which means how did the octopus get there? Some very funny construction worker, I suppose. Some extremely silly tricks were being played. Threat to people? Oh, his ass is walking on the seafloor. That's so like having true. a big ape in his the middle of the going. Rocky Mountains. Uh, oh. Pard! So here it is. As we oh, near the no. end of the Oh, ape. God. Ad starting soon. I forgot. Ad starting soon. Drop a primer or a tier one. Drop a primer or a tier one. I can't help you. I can't help you. Drop a primer. Really quick. Really quick. Guys, we've got to hit the sub goal. Hand it over. Hand it over. Hand it over this instant. You can't say that with that Prime Gaming next to you. Hand it over. That's it. <laughs> Hand it over this instant. Right now. You can help us hit the sub goal. You can help us. Give me that Prime this instant. We are only one away. 3062 could be 3063. You, are, you must comply within the next 20 seconds. We're waiting. You're going to hold up the whole stream. Ah, uh, somebody else primed before you. That's it. Mods. Modbot, take care of this film. Get him out of here. <laughs> what if that guy got ads? He got ads and he couldn't see anything that I was saying. <laughs> Yeah, why does Cody have my message up on that? You are banned. <laughs> what did Cody say to me? Behold, the Bananator 2000. <laughs> That's funny. Thank you, Dinosaur. Thank you, Pawub. Thank you, Heat Search. Thank you, Fierce Deity. Fierce Deity Gabe. Thank you guys very much for the subs. Oh, yeah, this is how I get the clock emoji. <laughs> I had to look it up. Uh, uh, dude, that song kind of goes crazy. Great by the horrors way. science cannot explain. I present you with one of the most terrifying. Behold. Oh, that's card. just a... Bro. <laughs> Did they have to... <laughs> why he got the... Why, why did the artist have to do the... He didn't have to... <laughs> Artist didn't have to. He got a cool tail. I, the tail, yeah. That's an ugly lion. Uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah. I kind of want to run a prediction at whether or not the dude's gonna talk about it. The pard, as its frightening name suggests, hmm. is a mystical and deadly feline whose appearance dates back to ancient culture. Mm -hmm. The pard's existence is also meant to explain the existence of an actual beast. Okay, I guess not. The leopard. You see, somehow the I was gonna say it should just be a leopard, just never right? Because it's got the two spots and shit. Reproduce. Because they thought that the leopard was a sterile hybrid creature, like mules. Uh. You see, the leopard is obviously a degenerative, wretched animal, and the bastard offspring of a female lioness and a pard. <laughs> thus the name. <laughs> oh my leopard. God, a pard. Because obviously oh, leopard. this deplorable oh. creature is a complete downgrade from our mighty pard. Uh huh. Allegedly, when a male lion would see his lioness making love to the pard, they would freak out and become enraged. And you know what? I understand. If your girlfriend cheated on you with this guy, uh, you would have some serious and concerning answers to ask yourself. What is, Eventually, what is the pard's as humanity deal? reached the medieval era, the pard became more than just a cat. This is the first furry OC? <laughs> Nature's first deviant art creation. There it is. Soon, they were supernatural beings evil Beautiful. and malicious killers it was said that even the, the antichrist neck. himself takes the form of what else but the pard <laughs> eventually however people would realize that leopards can reproduce and legend What's of up the with pard his tail, fell by the into way. the sands of time it's like a leaf this vi <clears throat> this video was really interesting 
because cryptids, <laughs> you can't say even that. You these made hilarious it. ones, are still fascinating to study. On this channel, Bro said, I this video cover was really real good. Animals, who are the products All right. of nature? Cool. But these are instead the product of the human mind. Thank you, Big trying Blue. To answer questions. Thank you, Hershey. Itself. I mean, why are people drowning in my lake? Or where are all the mermaids of legend? <laughs> the ways people imagine even the most outrageous creatures is fascinating. So although you should not believe in cryptids, start saying that in, in your videos. I might do that. This was a really good video. Don't you agree? Oh, and the final monster is a uh, veggie man, That's half man, real. half produce. He looks like mostly produce. Uh, that's not... Coney, you need to have a much more HelloFresh attitude toward this video. Actually, that's true. Look at... You know what this reminds me of? I realized I haven't done this yet. This reminds me of all the great food I just got delivered. Oh, wait. I should do this during the next ad. Wait, we just had ads. <laughs> all right. I got to do the bit. All right. Here we go, everybody. Let's go ahead and do this. This reminds me of all the great food I just got from... Hello Fresh! That's right! Remember when I got and I ordered all that food last week? Well, it came to my house! Hello Fresh is a great way to have ready made meals. Well, not ready made, but all the ingredients for meals delivered right to your house. And then you get to make them yourself! And I'm gonna tell you a lot more things about it in a second. But see, what happens is, last week, if you guys watched the VOD from last Thursday, I actually picked a bunch of the meals from Hello Fresh that I wanted delivered. And now they're here! I got six different meals, including. Uh, firehouse cheeseburgers, right? And uh, chicken sausage rigatoni, one pan beef enchilada verdes, uh, sweet ginger pork chops, beef tenderloin and balsamic steak sauce, and Italian chicken over lemony spaghetti. I don't like saying lemony spaghetti. And what happens is they send you all these recipes, right? And then they have everything in its own individual bag, which makes it so easy. In the mood for Italian chicken over lemony spaghetti, you pop it right here. And then they are each there, so you just put it in the fridge for the week, and then you make them as you want them. Sweet ginger pork chops, opt for chicken cut or organic chicken cut. You could also change it out if you want. I'm not going to show you the meat, because I didn't. I already took it and I put it in the fridge, because I'd be streaming for a few hours, and I didn't want to have meat thawing here in downstairs, okay? A lot of people have asked me why I don't do a cooking stream. Uh, because even with HelloFresh, I usually fuck it up. But that's not HelloFresh's fault. That's my fault. I am not a cook. Usually the meals are very simple and very easy. I just still can't do it myself. I can't make anything more complicated than a Pop-Tart. But I would love to learn, and that's why I use HelloFresh. Every once in a while, I'll, like, come on, I get on, get off HelloFresh. And I, I'm back on it now, obviously, with them sponsoring. And you guys could get 21 free meals with free shipping by checking out the label for the panel below the stream. Go ahead and click on that. Guys, the big game is right around the corner. And it's the perfect excuse to host a get-together with your favorite people. Tune into an exciting game or a few great commercials. And most importantly, fuel up with some epic eats. Treat friends and fans to delicious barbecue baby back ribs, chocolate chip brownies, and everything in between. What game? The World Cup. That's happening soon. You could, if you're looking for an easy way to eat well and save money this year, cut back on expensive takeout and delivery and get started with HelloFresh. You'll love how fast, easy, and affordable it is to whip up a restaurant-quality meal right in your own kitchen. Once you get kind of good at it. I'm not very good at it, but you can pick the easy ones, and it's simple. Guys, check out the link below the stream to get 21 free meals from me. Hold on, there's something I have to say verbatim. Use my link or go to HelloFresh.com and use the code POGHF27201. Uh, it's a tough code. Just go below the stream and, and copy that. For 21 free meals plus free shipping. That's right. HelloFresh.com. Coney, who do you think is winning the World Cup? USA, baby. We always come close, right? USA rules, dude. We're nice at soccer. Coney, you going to watch the Framemakers trailer? Is that out? The game was supposed to come out today. Is it out? 
trailer in three minutes. Three minutes? All right, I'm doing this. Then we're going to watch... Oh, it's a premiere. All right, I'll pop this because they might have an announcement. We're going to pop this. Then we're going to watch the Injustice movie, all right? Injustice movie after, all right? And then Fears to Fathom. We were supposed to get some YouTube content out of tonight, but uh, I don't think we did. So, good luck, Vince. Maybe that mascot video from a few weeks ago. Maybe we could make that into something. <laughs> we finished the lying game. Lying is YouTube, but that's one video. Next week is lying, uh, perfect lie, and then Genesis. I don't know what the third one is. Because we have three videos a week. King DDD assist that took a data about. Yo! Yo! What the fuck? He is assisting! Bro is smashing! Look at him go! That's amazing. By the way, this YouTube Premiere system sucks. I hate this, because no matter what you do, it it's like this. Like, even if you set it for a time, there's always, like, a three-minute thing. Frame Makers is out in three minutes? Okay. Yeah, they DM'd me saying that they fixed the uh, controller issue. I haven't tried it, but they said that it's fixed now, so... Hit the 2x, that's not going to work. Wait. What? The <laughs> I'm about to leak this shit. I'm about to leak. All right, now we're back on time, okay. <laughs> that's so funny to me that you can do that. Bro, this got retweeted on my timeline. You guys are going to say I'm a contrarian. The Zune was peak. I loved the Zune. I loved this thing so much. I really did. I thought the Zune was so cool. I'm not kidding. I liked it way more than the iPod. Just look at it, dude. Look at the design, man. It felt so, uh, it felt so analog. You know what I mean? I always wanted one. I had one. I loved it, unironically. I loved the Zoom. Because I just hate Apple shit, dude. I'm a big fan of the Zoom, unironically. It's nice. The iPod did have that, that tactile clicky feeling when you went down the thing. Dude, there's so much. There is so much that Zoomers don't know about. That's so sad. Oh, the feeling when you go through your library and... Oh, my God. I had a Philips MP3 player. <laughs> Did you have school-assisted lunch, too? <laughs> you pay a dime for lunch? That's mean. I'm sorry. You're poor! <laughs> okay. Yo! <laughs> This game does look super cool. When I played it, I liked it other than the controls, but apparently that's fixed now. I'm a commander video player, I think, because he's Mario. He's very simple from what I can see. Have we not seen this? No, we have. Apparently they're announcing something. This trailer just came out now. There's my boy Clive. Yup. I think I'm an eighth player. I think we go eight. I can't wait for this. For, like, the custom characters. That's going to be so fun. Oh, there's rollback? What is that noise, honk? Ooh. Is it Five Nights? What? What the fuck? 
Oh, okay. No, yeah, that was a vent. Okay. <laughs> I heard somebody running. I was like, huh? That makes sense. It's an assist? What is it going to do? What? Oh, his ass is working. Oh, he's doing tasks. He didn't even do anything. Wait, did he lay a trap? What did he... He didn't even do anything. All right, do something. Do... What is he doing? <laughs> He's not doing anything. What? What? Oh, my God. Okay, that's what he does. All right, okay, okay. Ah, he got you. If you're in there, got you. All right. Ah, he was not the crewmate. I see. Oh, wait, no, those are two different things. What? Wait, what? Wait, they? I'm confused. Is it the same one? He gives you more hit stun? What? Why wouldn't I pick that? That's the most busted thing. That's crazy. That's neat. Yay! I hope this game succeeds. I really like it. I like the idea of it, you know what I mean? I love indie games. There's a lot of passionate people behind it. It's super cool. I was say I was talking with TK today because we were on the um we were on the podcast together. Like there's so many platform fighters to play now that I'm worried because they're all gonna like cannibalize each other, you know what I mean? Like the whole community can't get behind one. You know? It kind of sucks. It's tough. Like there's uh Coney Curse. Oh no. <laughs> That's true. I really like Nickelodeon and multiverses a lot. Ooh. No one's going to play them anyway in two weeks, as is the way. I hope not. Man. Didn't you like Roller Champions, too? I did. I did. Yeah, 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 yeah. Problem with this is it seems too high effort for content. I hope it isn't too much. What do you mean? Like, they they it takes too long to put in new shit, so people can't, like, keep coming back for new stuff. Multiverse is doing okay, I think. I mean, it's doing fine. I mean, like, comparative to where it should have been with, like, Warner Brothers money and the IP that it had, right? Like, Multiverse has had the strongest head start of any game. This game seems so polished, and that's a double-edged sword. No, I feel that. Because, like, the new characters that they add are going to have to be st of such high quality that it might take forever and then it's like a content drip, right? It's not like a constant feed, which keeps people coming back. So, Games need casual appeal. Uh, and I feel that non-Smash Plat Fighters don't have that down. Yeah, but how do you do it, right? I think, I think that's a larger problem where, like, ranked modes and competition is kind of infecting all multiplayer games. And it's like, how do you get around that? Maybe that's what Zoomers want now. Maybe it's just, like, a generational gap. But I don't know. Isn't League of Legends doing a fighting game soon? Yeah, but that's Project L. That's like that's a Marvel game. That's not a um It's not a plat fighter, you know. And yeah, if you're a casual, why wouldn't you just play Smash? What are you gonna do that's like how do you be different? Nobody's cracked that code yet. It's really hard. I have heard some things about Project L that I think make it really exciting. I'm not a fighting game guy, but maybe I'll give it a shot. I mean, obviously I'm going to give it a shot, but I've heard some stuff behind the scenes about what they're doing, and it sounds interesting. So, Honestly, I can't play Smash without uh, feeling like playing competitive. You know what's weird is like that's a new... That's a very new sentiment. Uh, if you said that you were a competitive player in the Brawl days, people were very mean to you. Like, if you said that you played Smash competitively, now it's, like, an accepted thing. Now everybody's like, yeah, yeah, whatever. But, like, back then, people were, like, genuinely, like, why the fuck are you uh, ruining his vision? Why are you taking this seriously? Blah, blah, blah. It's weird that now it's changed so much in the other way. You know what I mean? 
Project L is most likely going to be free. Yeah, obviously. What's weird to me is like everybody has wait, is Framemakers free? I don't think so, right? Oh, I played more man standing when my friend was over the other night. What a fucking trip that game is. Do you guys remember this? During grab bag? Oh my god. Man standing is, it's death stranding, except anybody can leave, the idea is you have this whole thing on your back, and you, I don't know if you can see the pictures, but, uh, yeah, so it's like this, and you just walk around, and it's a shitty Unity game, and anybody can leave a message for anybody else to find, and they can also leave videos for anyone else to find, and it is wholly unmoderated, so it's just racism, and... Uh, it's, it's pretty fucked up. I played it for like a minute in a grab bag stream. I was like, oh, Jesus. Yeah, man standing is crazy. Fire it up. No, dude, this is a sponsored stream. Relax. I miss grab bag so much. What are you talking about? We had so much gameplay and salty bet. What do you want from me? You want me to uh, troll through... My grab bag list for hours, hoping we find one funny game. Look at all these fucking games. I have 287. I bet none of these are funny. I'm, I'll do one right now. We're playing 8-Ball. This shit will not be funny. If this is funny, I'll keep going. If it even loads. Hmm? That's the other problem. These games don't fucking work. See? Oh. Allow access to my private network. Sure, 8-Ball. Come on in. Eight ball Coney plays CSGO. I tried once. I fucking hated it. I kept dying to people I never saw. <laughs> I just step out and poof. Cool, man. Play the boner game? The fuck are you talking about the boner game? Cars versus zombies? <laughs> Where's 8-Ball? Oh, it's coming. Hold on. 8-Ball's coming. Wait. Alright, you want a grab bag? Here you fucking go. Jesus, these sounds are are loud. Here's eight ball. Here we go. Hey everybody, it's me, eight ball. Oh, eight ball punch. Look how excited he is. Yay, eight ball. This shit is so loud. Let's go. Yup! Ooh, that was a close one. Uh, let's keep it up. That crowd is so supportive. What is that? Is that a carrot? Oh, that's like a pool cue. D can I jump over that? Ow! <laughs> you bastard! Hold on. Hold on. Oh, no, I'm running out of time. I just saw the top left. What? Phew! That was close. Hope we get past this one. How do I, how do I get over? Dude, what is this hitbox? All right, we're good. Phew. Yay, eight ball. Oh no, I'm gonna run out of time. Hold on. Oh, I can punch it. I forgot I can punch, you're right. Oh no, I only got 30 seconds. Is there a run button? Nope. Uh, I just gotta casually... I'm almost at the other end of the table. I gotta speed up, though. Oh, no, I'm not gonna make it. No, okay, punch is the answer. Punch is the answer. You're right, you're right. We got it, we got it. We're good. Wait, there's the white ball! My love! I did it all for you, white ball! <laughs> Level two! I'm not playing any more of 8-Ball. <laughs> I get it. 
Now, I allowed that for access to my private network. Uh, okay, that one was kind of funny. I'll give you one more. Extreme Truck Simulator? No. Gunman Clive? I think that game's just good. KO the Kangaroo? I saw... I, I Solemus? I'm not playing I Solemus. New kind of adventure. <laughs> Did I play this? What the fuck? Created by Zaku from 2016. Yup, spicy Chipotle chicken. This kid is six years older now. This is community content. New York Rat Simulator. All right. This is what the fucking people want. You want grab bag? I'll give you grab bag. Here you go. Fine. Allow access to my private network. Please go ahead. Play horror games. I don't know if I have any. Realms of the Haunting. Oh, no, that's not it. Silence of the Sleep. <laughs> it's always X of the Y. Test bed terror. Titan oh, this game is so funny. You get to be on the Titanic. Tractor cargo driving simulator. Unicorn dungeon? <laughs> Wait. Oh, no, this is a talking game. Never mind. Unmanned helicopter? <laughs> White mirror. Oh, that's a horror game. Bro, where's the rat game? This shit taking too long to load. Oh, no, it was loading. What is this? What? Oh, the VR? <laughs> My Steam VR popped. What the fuck? You don't want to play that shit in VR? All right, let's try White Mirror. This doesn't look scary, dude. I, I don't think this is the scary game. Thank you, Magi. Oh, what? hold on. My bad. I missed it. Okay. As they say, it is possible to see in a mirror a lot of things. Someone sees an angel, someone a demon, and someone simply sees his reflection. All depends on person. On how the person wants to see that is hidden in no reason. But it is very difficult to see the soul. As they say, it is possible to see in a mirror a lot of things. I want to tell you one story. Me name is, however, is doesn't matter. Soon you will forget me. After all, even the most intimate memoirs disappear in the emptiness and the oblivion comes. <laughs> Recently, I've got the letter from my old friend whom I haven't seen for a long time. There was the address of Mansion, which was near the wood. He asked me to arrive there as soon as possible. I heard that there was a mirror in that, there, that mirror in his house. My task was to find that mirror and to get out from the throne house as soon as possible. Oh, good heavens. Press F1 to get more information. Okay. Watch out for the mirror. Cody, can we go back to 8-Ball? No, you wanted this. Night 1. Home sweet home. 1. Find key. That's so much to do. Find keys, turn on the generator, get to the house. Okay. To get to the house, it is necessary to turn on the generator, which is in the cellar. I wanted injustice. We'll still watch injustice. I promise. We're still going to do Injustice and Fears to Fathom. You're getting a late stream tonight because I'm not going to be here tomorrow. You're welcome. All right, never mind. I, I don't think this one's good. I hate any game that I got to break into the house to start. Surely there's a better scary one in here somewhere. Ancient Siberia. Anti-horror? Uh... <laughs> Huh? Maybe try 8-Ball. Stop 8-Ball posting. Oh, hell yeah! It's one of these. Give me that fantastic quality. Yes. This is that shit I like. Oh, we're back now. New game. 
Let's play anti heart. New game, please. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> okay. Oh, wait. I have the game super quiet. Okay, now it's back up. All right, let's go. I'm driving, I think. Is that me? It's very bright. Driving an ice cream truck? <laughs> Join is playing some jovial ass music. Let's get it. This song kind of go crazy. This is a long cutscene. Oh, I'm in the car. What? Oh. Oh, that was a neat trick. Urine? Is that my urine meter? Press G to brain? I think I'm getting thrown around in the car as it turns. Like, as the car turns, I'm not sitting. I need a seat belt. All right. Need тормознул. to ask the driver to stop. Yep, all right. Right, uh, driver, I gotta go. I gotta go potty. Chef, Buddy, please stop your bus for a few minutes. While you were boldly and bravely driving your rattle trap all the night, I drank five liters of beer from boredom. Now I would like to take a whiz in the bushes. They called him brave? All right. Thank you. I have to go whiz. And all right. There are no bushes anywhere, by the way. Uh, was that? Oh, what? All right. Let's let's go find a bush to pee in. I'm going deep into this cab. Oh, that's convenient. <laughs> um. Uh. Oh. Oh. All right. <laughs> this is a sponsored stream. Um, how do I get? Uh, I think that's enough. I think that's enough. I think that's enough. I I I have a water bottle. You can't see anything. It's a water bottle from my travel, and I'm I'm squeezing it to actually. I, I'm squeezing it so I could get new water at the next stop I go to. That's all. Um, it's... Alright, I, I can't go back, by the way. I can't even move. I'm stuck here. Alright. Uh... <laughs> what? Did the bus hit the mountain? How'd it get a fucking wheelie on a bus? I, I guess I did make him wait for a while. I did think I was going to be pretty quick. All right, now it's time for the old grab bag horror classic. Is the monster funny? We're going to see a monster. Do we think the monster will be funny? Yeti, твою мать. Да здесь же по-любому sure записки нужно notes. собирать. Why are you sure about that? I don't want to gather notes. Why is every horror game slender? Please turn up brightness. You think there's a brightness setting? You think there's a brightness setting in this game? I have one option. Why am I playing this? This is so stupid. Collect some notes. I can't see a damn thing. All right, there's lights on in that house. I'll go in there. It's bright. And their door is wide open. All right. 
This is about the time. <laughs> There's nothing in this house. This is about the time where an extremely loud jump scare is probably going to pop. So I'm just giving you a heads up. Maybe turn down your speakers a bit. An, an absolutely unpredictable, extremely loud jump scare is going to pop very soon. I'm giving you a heads up. I'm going to go ahead and turn mine down. Is that a note? Интересная информация. Farmer Nick. Кто такие? Я вас не звал. Идите нахуй. All right, I guess that was the jump scare. Thank you. Thank you, Farmer. All right, is that? Ah, there it is. Yeah, very scary. Very scary indeed. Yeah. All right, let's get more notes. Can I go in? Дверь заперта. Не думаю, что я смогу открыть ее. Uh, why is this one room lit? And by what? There are no lights. <laughs> so, uh, is that another note? I don't understand. It seems like a hieroglyph. That's definitely just somebody's bloody nose tissue. I'm not doing this. I'm not collecting notes. There was your grab bag for the year. Bigfoot Forest? <laughs> we want eight ball. I gave you eight ball. What's <laughs> the chosen warriors? <laughs> Hold on. One more shot, and then we watch Injustice. Okay? One more. Go X Games! If this is your first time running game, don't forget to configure your controller in the next stream. This game will save your controller. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> uh, done. I'll figure it out. Uh, start. Uh, why is the text so big? Arcade mode. Fine. Single player. Go. It's fine. This is the last shot for grab <laughs> Oh my god. Look at these dudes! I'm this dude with the double axe. Wait, is this a beat em up? Press attack to choose. Oh no, I wasn't paying attention. Okay, it's it's I think it's you on the keyboard. I think attack is you. Uh eh, alright, start. Play tutorial? No. Uh let, we go we go desert, I think. We go desert. All right, here we go. Next stage, desert. That is what I chose. Here we go. Um. <laughs> uh, I. This is incomprehensible. What am I looking at? Cool. The chosen warriors. There they are. Let's go! Oh my God. Let's go! Okay, it's I to attack. I and you. It's both. And it's P to run. Alright, let's go. Oh no, my axe! Oh, it comes back. Okay. Alright, I was gonna say. Space makes me throw it. Hold on, let me turn this down. Hold on. Wait, it's okay. It's fine. It's fine. I did. Oh, I thought I died. Behind you, Regulus! Hiya! <laughs> this guy. Can we 1v1? That's it. Let me find all the buttons on my keyboard. Oh, dude, I got a spinning move? <laughs> He's down. Let me finish him off like a mob boss would. Oh, he died. Never mind. <laughs> so you double tap to run. Oh, here's a knight. Okay. This is stupid. Alright. And this is why we don't grab bag. It's stupid. It's just four hours of that. Alright. <laughs> and every once in a while, there's one good hit. Once every stream. I had this up in a different tab. I just wanted to listen to it. We 
We have had some hits, though. That's true. All right, I got to watch this video from Say Jam on Injustice. If you guys didn't play Injustice, this movie is very funny. Injustice is fascinating to me because, like, Warner Brothers got this really shitty reputation for uh, what they would do is, like, they would keep releasing games where characters would be full-screen zoners. They would just, like, shoot a gun from the entire stage away, and beating it took monumental amounts of effort. And they kept doing it over and over and over and over. And I don't know why they did that. Why did they keep... Why did that become the game that they did? Like, I don't... That's so weird. It's ridiculous. I have so we're going to watch a video on Injustice. By the way, I played Solomon Grundy in this game. So I was miserable. I have Injustice 1. Let me show you guys Martian Manhunter and Batgirl. So I actually have not seen Martian Manhunter, and I don't think I saw Batgirl. I think they're both DLC. So Martian Manhunter is the least surprising Coney main. I played him and hold on. Injustice one roster. By the way, I went off grab bag. I immediately gained like thirty viewers. I'm telling you, bro. It's <laughs> it is poison. I'm telling you. Damn, this roster is big. Holy shit. I didn't know it was this big. Shoo. Uh, I played Bane because it was funny. Let me think. I played Bane, Grundy, and who's Zatanna? Oh, I would have played Zatanna. <laughs> Fucking magician? What? Bane, Grundy, and I played Lex Luthor. Because I thought he was funny in his little suit. Have you guys seen Injustice Lex Luthor? <laughs> Look at him in his... Check him suit. Because <laughs> he's just a guy, right? He has his own little suit that he made for himself. He's so bad, by the way. He is terrible. He's like low tier. <laughs> Oh, it's funny. Who's Lobo? Oh, yeah, he's that guy. Who's Harley? Uh, I'm so stupid. I thought I said Haley Quinn. I was like, who? Okay. Played after Nightwing. He was a DLC character, and I was really excited for him because I think he's really cool. Martian Manhunter is a zoner, first and foremost. He has really good zoning, right? So this is... Oh, overhead. my God. 8% of your life on hit. This is oh the my enhanced God. version of it. Covers the entire screen. Eight percent. From my memory, the other projectile he has is this. So you can pick where this goes. <laughs> the other important thing is that the meter burn. He hits the. God, <laughs> send down a meteor. Send down a meteor this instant. Version of this is homing, <laughs> and you can combo off it with your teleport. Look at how high this reaches. Wait, you could combo into teleport. So you could be full stage zoning the and then the just version of this is homing. And then pop up next to them. And you can combo off it with your teleport. Look at how That's high this amazing. is. Do you see this? You can be anywhere on the screen and this will hit you. And you can combo off of it. They did not know what they were doing. With whatever you want. Do that. And you get Oki. This explodes after a certain amount of time. And you can put it near or far and to protect you. The other thing is the meter burn version instantly explodes on contact with the opponent character so if they move into it it automatically pops on the meter burn version the other thing is you can combo off of it <laughs> and you get okie i feel like he's gonna keep so saying that the other thing is you can combo after off after someone gets hit by it you can is this the first nrs game what did nrs do before this no they made mortal kombat 10 i think or nine yeah they made nine and then this i think and instantly yeah. them. So i don't know what mortal kombat 9 was like and you can combos into his teleport can you this shrink your cam a little bit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm probably a little bit too big. Look at tiny ass CGM. <laughs> hey, little fella. I got the big cam. Scoot over. <laughs> All right, there you go. Combos also. And then you can put the orb This out. game is fucked up. As you can see, extremely good Oki, extremely consistent. 
pressure, extremely consistent zoning. Please talk about really the. Solid. That's like. Please no talk about the stage stuff. Damage. I hope he, he doesn't to just to talk about Martian Manhunter. He can do stuff like this and then do scoop. Please talk about the stage. Talk about the pig. Please talk about the pig. I off a few times. It works off of all of his zoning, and it's it's a great combo starter. You can do in the air at any point, whenever, even after he air dashes. What? <laughs> even if he air dashes. Wait, you can air dash air into teleport? At any point, whenever, even after he air dashes. <laughs> even if he air dashes over you and he wants to come out on the other side. Not only that, this is the other version of the teleport. It's an overhead. <laughs> Very few characters can punish it. It's safe on block. Somebody has to do an armored Wait. back three to beat. It. Otherwise, you cannot push Wait, it. Wait, so he can do a teleport overhead or a straight up, like, it's either blockable or not. What do you he fucking think, do? Like, oh, well, I'll just react to his teleport. He can just whiff other things in the air. This looks like he's going through the ground. You can do stuff like that, right? It's extremely degenerate. Oh like, one God, of the most dude. degenerate things I can think of in the game. He has really fast normals, good pokes. In fact, this is really good. Because his jab check... And that puts you full, full like, stage. Imagine getting in on this character and he jabs you. Oh, That's my safe on block. God. It's is safe. Minus six with pushback. You may say minus six. Send the missiles. The pushback. I haven't talked about his trait. So you've seen all of his zoning and everything. And you're like, wow, this is all really good. His trait makes it so that all of his moves have more range. You may <laughs> say, like, how much flip? more range? What? You may say, like, how much more range? at NRS should lose their job today for this. Is there a statute of limitations? We need to investigate this. Send the FBI. We need the Federal Bureau of Investigations to check these hitboxes, dude. What are you talking about? It's his psychic abilities. Whatever. <laughs> he did, yeah, he's supposed to be like that. Oh my god. Uh, this is his standing too. This is it. With <laughs> okay, wait. He is supposed to be uh, like this that. This is his standing too. Do it again. <laughs> Kapow! <laughs> is that his power? I didn't know he was he was Miss Incredible. I didn't know that was his thing. I thought he was just an alien. What is Martian Manhunter? What's his like thing? Bro can call down meteors, teleport anywhere he wants, can grow on a whim. He's canonically almost as powerful as Superman. Really? And he's just an alien. He's space Jesus. Okay. This is it with his I trait. love him. What is this meter? I just noticed the uh, hand this meter. Is standing too. Oh. This is it with his trait. <laughs> What was that? Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Too. What was that? Do it again. It with his tray. What are these NRS this animations? It Bro swung the Instant too. As soon oh as you my the trade, it god. It also gives him more damage. You notice What is this wind up? <laughs> If I'm traded, he has a grab by the ghoulies meter. It is 34%. This is like his overhead, and he's in traded. That's an overhead. He's also That's what's called a over power character. Okay. Non power characters, when they interact with this car, they like jump out of the corner. He oh, right. You. 22%. <laughs> so being a power character is good most of the time. He yeah, so in this game, you could grab uh, lots of back, like stage hazard things. There was stuff on most stages, including this car. And if you're thinking, oh, just dodge the car. Where would you go? Oh, Coney, you're in the way. Surely there's a spot where the car won't hit you. Nope. You would just get hit by the trunk. 
Donk. By the way, uh, you can't block it. <laughs> There's no way to block that. That's just... Um, maybe you want to jump over it? Well, <laughs> uh, don't think that works either. It's pretty slow. Non power characters, when they interact with this car, they like jump out of the corner. He crushes you. I guess so. I don't know what you do to that though. I actually don't know what the counterplay is. Surely they would make some counterplay, right? Surely. I would back up and shoot him with a gun. Oh yeah. <laughs> I forgot about that. That's what NRS would do too, apparently. For 22%. So being a I just remember playing this game and I played it mad casually. And there's a level with a giant pig hanging on a hook, like a butcher pig. And uh, I remember playing it casually, and I, I didn't, like, play FGC stuff. And I was like, yeah, that seems really strong in casual play. But I'm sure there's a way to beat it in competitive. And then I watch competitive, and everybody's just camping the pig. Everybody's just sitting around the pig. I was like, yeah, I, I'm a casual. I probably just don't know what to do. Good players will know what to do. There's you, you just you ha you have to get to the pig first. If you spawned left side, you win. Character is good most of the time in this game. Instead of riding the bike like you're like Trinity in the Matrix, like let me get away. He fucking. What is Zod me. looking at? Yeah, Wait, the do bike. characters not automatically turn around? What is Zod doing? Like you're like Trinity in the Matrix, like let me get away. He fucking crushes you, and it's twenty percent unblockable. Not By the way, I, mean, uh, I don't know if he covers this. You throw this and it homes, so you can actually jump over this. It's not like the car, but it will home in on you. The Matrix, like, let me get away. He fucking crushes you. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Not only does it do 20% unblockable, but you have to remember, he has, like, a hard knockdown move. And then he can just do stuff like this. So <laughs> let's say I hit him at round start. You hit hard knockdown, and then you just get him with the bike. Doof. That's, so that's 50, that's half your bar. Yep. Yeah, this game had stage counter picks because power characters. Pig, 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 were pig. Extremely degenerate with that kind of stuff. That's so, so for small characters, characters. Look at the wizard girl. We're extremely. I would play her. She looks so fucking funny. <laughs> I love her. That character is so funny. Where's my guy? I played this silly ass dude up here and. Uh, this silly ass dude down here. By the way, I don't even know if they cover each other's bad matchups. They're both two just big ass slow guys. One grabs you and the other beats you up. I think I played Shazam, actually. I think I played Shazam a little bit. Degenerate with that Cheeky kind of bit stuff. of Shazam. So for small characters, and particularly Batman is the best character in the game, probably on this stage. Because he has up batterings. These are anti air batterings. He has his grounded battering, right? This is an unblockable. That does 20%. And you may think, like, that's pretty good, but, like, why does that matter? So, Batman has this trait, and this is homing. So, he can throw anti-air projectiles and then do that on the ground. So, what Batman could do is he could hit you with the dumpster. Wait, the dumpster stays right on the stick? And do, do this. <laughs> and then he'd throw this, and then he would do this. That's a plus 20 on the block. <laughs> Just in the Pop corner? The tray, throw this. Let me out! And you were... Did, this is prep time! You, this is the game. Pig is... Excellent work, Master Bruce. <laughs> Zod has no idea how to counter this strategy. So this? Oh my god. General Zod has never seen an offense quite like this. Well done, Master Wade. Were... That, I didn't know the dumpster stayed on the stage. That's unbelievable. This is the game. The pig is... The pig! In there it is. Rack. Yep, yep, yep. So this stage is long as hell. This might be Arkham Asylum, I think. And you were, this, I don't know why the, the pig is in pig? Arkham Asylum. But yeah, so the pig is far left. So if you spawn left, you would just dash to the left immediately. Pig go pig. is a, a, an interactable in this game that slides on this hook. So I would hit him with this. Yep. And then he would... Throw the pig back. I would throw it at him, and then he would throw it at me, and we would just slide <laughs> this back and forth. And it's like it catches you in the air. It catches you in the, like, the hitbox is fucking huge, and you would just throw the pig back and forth. That's true. There is tech. You can get through the pig because you could armor cancel and then dash oh through. Oh my it. god! One thing about Superman that's also really ridiculous just throwing is that his the pig. gives him more damage. So there's like a lot of interactables in the game where he could just do stuff like this. I for, I didn't know about that. Of I forgot about that one. Where he could what is that? Is that like a moose head? 
Oh my god, it's like a giant brass statue. He could just do the stuff and it <laughs> increases the amount of unblockable damage it does. I did 23% as an OTG. He's also a power character. So non-power characters just jump off this and they like place a bomb. Let me show Batgirl real quick. Yeah, non-power characters are dog this shit. They just like character. escape Batgirl a bad situation. Also has a homing teleport. That I remember Batgirl, but I thought she hung him. I was like, Jesus Christ, that's dark. Yeah, I remember Batgirl being stupid. Condition immediately. Wasn't that Sonic Fox's character? I think so. And the main thing maybe about Batgirl maybe initially is or that later, she was I don't know. the mix-up character. So she has an overhead starter. Yeah. This move, this is cartwheel, has three follow-ups. This is a low. This is an overhead. And if she holds up, it's a high. The high is so plus on block that the next cartwheel is guaranteed. She would hit you and then do this bola and then after the bola she would jump in and then do overhead or low and that's it and after the 50 50 she would just bola you again over and over and over for <laughs> you're no just stuck bola. in a trap oh poor bat girl so this is like she didn't deserve to like thing. i i mean like bat girl probably got so much hate from this shit, right this poor character didn't deserve all this especially what happened to her oh man so, you know, 25% damage is fucked up. into an unreactable 50-50, into 25% damage, into whatever, and then she hits you here, and then, you know. It's not that much damage, right? She does, like, 50% off of any hit in the corner. Jesus like, even that Christ, is, like, dude. me dropping the combo, but that's, like, 40% on a bad combo. Oh, my God. It looks like the combo should be over like 10 times. He's like down this low, and I'm like, oh, that's the end. And then he just keeps going. 54% on a good Oh, my good God, thing about dude. Cartwheel is that if you dash forward and did this, that's a cross up. And then you can land in the front, too. There's a way to like make it not cross up. This is also an instant overhead. That's pretty important because you can combo this. But she's not a power it's character, so she can't throw the car or the dumpster. The... Oh, yeah. She also gets to use this really well. Oh, never mind. Cause like if you My try bad. to throw it at her, she can't use the dumpster. It. All right. She also because she didn't need to spend Never meter, mind. she could super a lot, and her super is really good. It's an anti air, and she can just add it onto any combo, and it does a lot of damage. Hold this for me. Fucking brings out the balloon. A balloon? Die, Jesus. It does a lot of damage. Any Nightwing tag? No, don't pick him. Not worth it. Look at this footage. This crusty footage. <laughs> Yeah, Batman oh trait, God. by the way, is is like Happy Gal's gunshot, but like I think it's kind of better in some ways and worse in other oh, ways. But dude. basically, he could just release it at any time to punish anything, any time in his pressure, any time. I forgot to do games used to look this bad on YouTube. That's crazy. Thing he could just release it, jump two, back two. No, he just one, two, three, back two, three, and then now you're dumpster. Throw the dumpster. dumpster. Yep. That's plus on block. And now he's in the corner. And throw the dumpster. Yup. We go into the air. Into the, the dumpster. <laughs> Jesus. OTG dumpster. Now he backs off. This stage should be banned. Throws up battering, and now he dumpsters. Yup. The dumpster hit him in the air. Yup. The yep. dumpster hits on the way back. Yeah. On the ground and in the air. And now he just chips on oh. OTG. Yeah. Whatever he wants to do. Now he just pops a trait. And then wait, I forgot about that. So when you die in injustice, you get up where you were. You don't reset. Yeah. Whatever. So. You you are still in the corner. Your character just stands up. <laughs> you have two health bars, so the idea is like it's instead of best of three, it's like you get two health bars. But yeah, you stay there. Everyone wants to do that's one. crazy. Now he just pops a trait, and then he releases the trait, and then he oh he stopped oh he one stopped dumpster the dumpster. Toss, well done, and, and the there's the dumpster. Anti-air battery. And there's the dumpster. OTG dumpster. Can't get out. Sinestro is mad as hell. OTG dumpster. Stop! Can't get out. Meter burn Batman, again. stop Release this the instant! OTG dumpster. Can't get out. Batman, let me go! That's the game. This is a tournament match. People were playing this game for money. I can't begin to explain to you how different games were. The oh my first God. version of this game was dominated at EVO because a stage called so Metropolis Rooftop, drones would spawn, and the drones did like 20% damage, unblockable, unscaled, drones? Like unscaled every time, and only power characters could throw them, and they spawned like every five seconds. 
So the I don't remember do drones. And then throw the drone at you over and over and over and over. And if you're not a power character, you automatically lose on that stage. So you may be asking, what do the power characters do when they interact with the dumpster? Power characters on this stage throw the dumpster on the ground and break it, and it's dead. They would end their combos early and just throw the dumpster on the ground so that you couldn't use it. Oh! This is why I downloaded Injustice. Sometimes when I talk about this shit, I feel like people think I'm making shit. I have the game downloaded, by the way. <laughs> Wait a minute. I think I literally have it downloaded. <laughs> Why? No joke. My friend in a Discord call was like, we should play Injustice sometime. Like, a year ago. And we were like, oh, that would be funny. By the way, add soon, 15 seconds. You guys know what it is. I never said the, say this, and I haven't said it all night tonight. Guys, if you have a Prime, go ahead and drop it on the stream. I greatly appreciate it. Just go below the stream, hit continue sub, or subscribe for the first time. And you can subscribe for free to the channel or for only $5 a month. Otherwise, you're going to get ads. Here come the ads. Good luck. Uh, I'll see you on the other side. Hope I, I, I pray for your safe return. God, that's funny. We should play some Injustice, bro. Good up. Like they don't believe Thank you, Mildew Smell. Ugh. <laughs> Thanks for the prime. Believe me that this kind of this nasty video shit rules. existed in a video game. So this move is called Earthshaker. As you can see here, it's an overhead then low. It hits within two frames. It does twelve. Oh, there's damage. the drone. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're low. just walking around and I think the drones like would move too. It hits within two frames. It just grabbed that shit. It does twelve percent damage. Play with Sage Jam? No, he's gonna beat my ass. I play Grundy. I play casually, and I was Grundy. But if he sandbags, I might play a little bit. This character did is this. I'll play this with Sage Jam if he plays uh, Nickelodeon with me. <laughs> How about that, huh? How about that, big guy? Huh? Bro versus bro with Sage Jam. <laughs> we play Nickelodeon, and we play Injustice. There we go. He's a beast with Aang? Oh, he probably is. I forgot about that. When was the last time you played Nick? Literally, I don't remember, but I, I think I played so much Ren and Stimpy that the combos are muscle memory, and I'm not kidding. I think, I, like, I remember specifically the, like, whenever I air dash in another game now, Seriously, like I air dash a lot in, in in platform fighters and I just dash in and I did that in ultimate and I'm like, fuck, I can't just air dash. You know what I mean? Same with multiverses. Like I air dash a lot in multiverses because of that. Or obviously I air dash a lot in other games because of multiverses. <laughs> I loved Nickelodeon, dude. I really did. It felt so magical. It really did. God, what a cool game. Do you remember Helga combos? Helga didn't have combos. <laughs> Helga literally didn't have combos. She just had the foot. Helga was one move wonder. Helga had the fucking kick. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That kick was so funny, though. Multiverses fucked up my Smash muscle memory. Yeah, bad. Yeah. That's all I did. And throw. So you're just you stuck in the it, corner. You just block it. It's an overhead, then it's a low. The problem is, if it hits farther, the timing changes on it, and he can just hit you with the low. He did sweep. He did this. This is a wake up. It's a cross. <laughs> it reverses your input. What is that move? See these a drones? flying these cross drones body? 20% damage. And spawned like way faster than they do now. You see that? So every time he does this move to you, uh, it reverses your wake up option. So if you put a wake up attack into it, and your wake up goes the wrong way. Now some wake up attacks will hit from Huh? Heart. So they still work. Oh, so let me try to block it. Right. Damn, he's good. So somebody asks <laughs> how you deal with the move, you just block it. Um, it also does a lot of chip. The other thing about this character is this move. This is a plus on block armored tackle. It, as you can see, it goes pretty far. Plus the other thing about block? this character is his trait 
is the thing that exists. Like, that move exists in so many games, but it's never plus on fucking block. That's like Wario side B and PM. If you shield that, you get a sick punish. His oh my god. Let's him absorb anything. So he just absorbs attacks while he's in his trade. When he has bar, he does full screen plus on block tackle. When he doesn't have bar, he does this. You also may be wondering, like, what <laughs> combos does this around. character do? No. He has, like, one strength. These drones, they nerf the spawn time on them. But it used to be that characters would just zone, and they would just throw that. Also, this is unblockable. Show Aquaman. There's only one thing to show. Wait, was Aquaman busted in this game or two? I remember Aquaman being stupid. Both? Okay. <laughs> that move. <laughs> The chip on it is like incredibly good. That's like the entire Bro purpose is stabbing. of the game, basically, is that on hit uh, or block. Uh, 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 look at the chip damage. He blocked that. Enormous amount of chip. His trait <laughs> is that he falls out of combos, and he can do yeah. his trait whether he's in hit stun, whether he's in block Bro stun. So even if it hits me, I can activate the trait and then block. And he has really good. Oh my god! Like, this really? Move is Really good. <laughs> and RS animations. This move, this plus on oh, block. that's so good. And you can armor it. Justice 3 coming soon, bro. And he has this. There's a low. Uh, back to There's an overhead. There's also a power character. Mm. Unblock it. <laughs> the whole chandelier. You guys hear that shatter? Uh, There's an overhead. There's a fucking no power character. Oh my god. Unblockable. That is 20% from full screen. Most of the characters in this game are pretty funny. Either in a good way or a bad way, but that was what makes them cool. Who's top one? These are the two characters. Top one was, yeah, Manhunter and Batgirl. I think Batgirl's like pretty up, weak. Right? Lobo's not great. Shazam is not great. Ares is pretty bad. Cyborg, maybe? I don't think Lex was worse than those characters, though, no? Shazam, basically, he's like a grappler, but he was just really slow, and most of his stuff... Wait, was he a grappler? Damn, dude. I didn't even know that. <laughs> I think I played Shazam. I don't remember grappling. Is like so Why do stubby. I only play grappling? His big problem is he has two grabs. One hits crouching character. <laughs> and one, uh, All right, I don't think I played Shazam. I would have remembered that. Grabs. One hits I would have remembered this move. Yo! <laughs> and one uh, does not. And he oh, that's to get funny. In. His projectile was so slow. He dove tackle. Meter burn projectile. He's with zero one. <laughs> this is also it's unsafe. Oh yeah, psycho crusher. It. Yeah. He couldn't stick to you very well, and he was like a hybrid grappler character with not a great grab. He just didn't have much going on for him, to be honest. Grundy, Grundy was uh, cool <laughs> too. He also kind of a character that had to work a little hard. All right, Grundy was extremely funny. Uh, Grundy is weird because he has so much good stuff, but he's also at the same time he's he has so a lot of problems. He's he so has stupid. This command grab, and he can cancel it. This is an armor. Yeah, you can cancel grab. the command grab. He had this is really good because this allowed him to. Oh my god! Get knockdowns, and it's. I'm low. getting nostalgic watching this. this. Is an overhead combo starter. That's as crazy. Well. This is a real command grab on on <laughs> hit or block. <laughs> This, this, by the way, this move is really good. Oh, the bonk on the head? Yep. And then you can do stuff like this after. Donk. This is an incredibly, it's like a five frame anti-air grab, by the way. I just don't remember any of his chain grabs. He has to time it. His chain grabs were very easy. This gives him more health. And he can switch between the two, which one he wants to do. So he has one that's like- I remember them being health, really easy. Off, and then like, the that's less chip. I don't even remember how and they were. They're worked. all useful in their own matchups. Can do this. Grundy was extremely fun to play until you fought a fucking uh, a full screen zoner. Like a dead shot. Was he in this game? I remember one game had like dead shot and the other game had death stroke. And they're like, no, it's a different character. It was the same fucking guy. It's just a guy with an AK. Death stroke? Okay. Dead shot was two. Death stroke is one. That's the same fucking character. I can't believe that, that, Mar that DC tries to say these are two different characters. It's just a guy with a fucking gun. Like, this guy or 
this guy. It's the same fucking guy. They're both Batman villains too? What the fuck? It's ridiculous. <laughs> so annoying. Jump. This gives him a setup. That's an auto medium. One uses guns, the other uses swords. Not in this game. He ain't used a sword in this game. In this game, he definitely uses a gun. I've seen it. You can also go low. Low into overhand. <laughs> low into low. Overhead into overhand. The hit advantage of walking corpse. Oh, it doesn't say. Yeah, this walking game corpse. does indeed have frame advantage. Yeah, he was like okay. He was not a super strong character. I'm surprised he was when okay. When I talk about this game, I want you to understand it is a different time. This shit is not okay. Truly one of the fighting games of all time. I love this game so much. This game is so fucking funny. I hate funny. this fucking game. I love this game. I mean, yeah, I played a lot of Injustice 2 and MK and Injustice 1. I'm a secretly an NRS plant. I don't think people know. I came from NRS games as a competitive player. My mindset is forged through NRS games. I played. I love NRS shit. I'm a big fan of NRS. I don't know why. Just something about those games are magical to me. I'll give it up, bro. We love CGM here. Play the Grundy speech combo? Yeah, hold on. Solomon Grundy full chain grab? Is that what we say? Combo video. All right. Hold on. <laughs> bro is just talking. Here's the chain grab. He, he... There's got to be a video, right? Grundy don't stop. <laughs> I don't... Forgot he said Grundy don't stop. Oh, wait. Oh, he didn't say the rest. Okay. Was it this? Oh, here he comes. Out of the earth. Uh huh. Christened on Tuesday. Married on Wednesday. So that's the full combo. If you get the whole thing, it looks like that. So he's here. By the way, that's your full combo. So you start here. You get the kick. And you get the full chain grab. The full chain grab does that. <laughs> that's the full chain grab. I think there are different routes, though. Oh, that's the bounce. I think you usually do that one. But the problem is it sets them far away, and you don't want that. But there is this, too. Yeah. I don't even remember what the difference of these is. Oh, yeah, he can drown you. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot about this shit. Why did they do that? Why did they Ronnie him? The environmental things are so funny to me in these games, dude. <laughs> I forgot about the tombstone. That, that is so pro wrestling, bro. He just pulls out of his tummy and then goosh, just cracks it on your head. Oh, not again. Not again down the stairs. Oh, no. These games are so fucking funny. He sure does. <laughs> I fucking love Injustice. This game is so fucking funny. Injustice stage transitions? Hold on. Fun fact. Solomon Grunny comes from an old English nursery rhyme for teaching toddlers the days of the week. I think we can because uh, I looked it up. Fears to Fathom. All the other games were an hour. Ah, ooh. Ah, I don't think I can go till 1 a.m. I don't think I can go till 1 a.m. Long stream, I could go till 12. I can't go to 1. 
I can't now because I'm leaving tomorrow. I can't. The stream can't be that long. You promised? I ain't promised shit. <laughs> I said I'd do it. And I lied. Listen, we'll do it next week, okay? Next week. Sound good? How about next week? Huh? Bro is missing the biggest tournament of the year for Splash Mountain. That's not even true. I wasn't going anyway. This is Grab Bag's fault. Actually true. This is on Grab Bag more than anything. You guys wanted to play 8-Ball. We wasted like 30 minutes doing that shit. Holy shit. Got bonked. Oh, not in the elevator. Goodbye. <laughs> Him and beat his ass in the elevator. Die, Bane. This game is so fucking funny. Joker made out of that did a fourth of his bar. What's going on with the Joker? Huh? Unobtainium. <laughs> He's made out of mithril. Oh, dude. I, I love the fact also that Joker is just a dude with a gun. Like, Joker, there's nothing special about him. He's just a mentally ill guy with a, a firearm. That's the only... And a knife. <laughs> That's it. Oh, he's on the assembly line. Oh, hell no. They assemble Joker. Oh, no. His screams are so fucked up when you realize he's a normal guy. <laughs> okay, the comic timing on that is amazing. It's so fast. I love this fucking game. <laughs> what? Oh, she's gonna get launched into space. Oh. Again, Harley Quinn, a normal woman. Right? Oh, she's in space now. Yeah. Okay. She's just dead. Jesus fucking Christ, dude. Oh, no, he's in the crystal mines. Look at all the diamonds. Jesus Christ. Oh, he sent it back to the dinosaurs. Wait a minute. Oh, wait, that might have been in two. All right, I don't know who that guy was. Wasn't that in Injustice 2? In Injustice 2, I'm pretty sure there's a stage transition where you knock somebody into... That's Flash's super. Yeah, he, he knocks you into the dinosaur age, and a dinosaur bites you. <laughs> it take no damage. That shit is so funny. Oh, this is the stairs. Man. Sorry, Lex. This poor guy. God, I love this game. What? What the fuck is her problem? Why did she do that? Yeah, is that, thank you, Strawberry Carrie. That's what I'm saying. What's her fucking deal? Why has she got an attitude? She been how long was she waiting? <laughs> Intrusive thoughts. Send it. She hates Lex Luthor. God, dude. Isn't that it? It's Lex Luthor, right? It's not Luthor. Whenever I used to say Luthor, people said Luthor, and now it's like in my head. It's Luthor, right? Yeah. <clears throat>
you're right. Thank you. A helicopter crash! Oh, you live, though. Why is this shit so funny to me? It's so stupid. Why is this so funny? <laughs> That's like nine foot. How high can he go? He went up like 12 stories. My God! A three. <laughs> bro. All right, that one's just pipes. That one's kind of boring. Now, hey, you got an achievement. Bro. That one wasn't crazy. Oh yeah, I forgot. Okay. So in case you didn't notice. Uh, Scarecrow is not a fighter in this game. He's not a character. So Cyborg hits Sinestro into the, the crazy chamber, and Scarecrow is like, oh, hell yeah. <laughs> he just stabs you, and then he runs away. <laughs> Bro, just hits that. <laughs> For no reason. For no reason. Why did he do that? Die. So funny. All right, this one makes a little bit more sense. Oh, you got the whole cavalcade here. Damn, that's pretty cool. You get cameos? I forgot about that one. Okay, so I don't know DC. I was always wondering what the fuck is going on here. So on this stage, there are these two assholes who are fighting in the back the whole time. They're like two giants. And I'm like, I don't know who those two are. And you could get thrown back there and they beat you up. Which is kind of cool. I don't know who that is. I'm sure this is very pog for, uh, for decent fans. Alright, that's just the house. That was That one needed like a big finish. Not crazy, but that. Yep, do that. Through the window. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Yep, and back outside. Wayne Manor is the best. Oh, not again. <laughs> not again! Scarecrow! Just hates all of them. For what? Back into the. Hey, break that shit. He on Hey, you old bird. Yeah, why are we watching the same ones? That's Wayne Manor again. Okay. God, these games are so funny. All right, next Mortal Kombat. Or um. Next, uh, Mortal Kombat, or whatever it is, uh, now Injustice 2. <laughs> Hold on. One of my favorite things in these games are the, uh, damn, Injustice 2 is a lot less, actually, unless I'm mistaken. Yeah. 337, damn. Uh, Next Mortal Kombat or Injustice game that comes out, I just want to watch these videos, bro. Like, because this shit is so funny to me. The stage transitions or the supers, like the crushing blows and shit, just the damage they take is so funny. They take nothing from being stabbed in the eyeballs. <laughs> uh. Oh, is that Scarecrow? He is in this game, right? Oh, I forgot about this joke. This Joker is so gross. 
I hate this guy, dude. Now that one hits. That one hits. Your fear? It actually is if you look at it. Because it's not even like he's like... Yeah, he's like half hanging off. Oh my god. What a fucking nightmare. Every floor on the way down. Die. <laughs> it explodes. Oh my god. That's how he got those scars. <laughs> A fucking giant fish? That's pretty cool. I have not seen any of the Injustice 2 ones. We're going through the pipe. Oh. That one wasn't that bad. You just go through the pipes. Dude, I remember seeing Injustice 2 and the characters. Thank you, Modem. The Injustice 2 Joker is the spitting image of a shitty porn parody It really Joker. is. That Joker's so fucked up. Why does this character... This character is just a cat lady, right? Cheetah, right? Why is she... Cheetara. <laughs> I, I remember seeing this. I was like, this is so stupid. It's just a lady that pretends to be a cat. This is ridiculous. Villain to Wonder Woman? Why? Oh, we're gonna go see a movie. It's a popcorn. Oh, that's cool. I've never seen that. That's kind of neat. Oh, goodbye, baby. <laughs> Helicopter kill. That one was amazing. Are, are we at Hogwarts? What is this? What was that? Thank you, leaves us. Bro, hit the Harry Potter special. The Rock of Eternity. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Stupid. I think he went to Harry Potter. That's what I think. I think that's it. What is that? Huh? Firestorm? You're kidding. Looks like Heat Man from Mega Man. Injustice 2 roster is so stupid. This roster feels so much worse. I don't know why. Just this guy? Isn't there like Captain Cold? And a cheetah woman? And... <laughs> The Ninja Turtles are in it. Aren't the Turtles four separate characters? Like, you play as all of them, but, like, you could pick which one. Are they different? Hellboy? Yeah. Captain Cold is the best because, again, he's just a guy. Is he? He's just a dude with a freezing gun? Raphael is bottom tier. He's got short range. Is Donatello the best? Donatello's the best in, like, every Turtles game. I don't know about the fighting ones, but, like, he has all the range. That's always, like, the thing, you know? That one wasn't great. It was really weird in Nickelodeon to see the two Ninja Turtles be, like, the two best characters in the game. That was really weird. Because everybody's like, dude, Michelangelo is crazy. Look at this combo. And then Leonardo just became a grappler. That was nuts. Yeah, the transitions don't hit as hard. I feel like half of the reason Injustice 1 transitions hit so hard, though, is because they looked shitty. There's something magical about the shitty, like, early 2000s. You know what I mean? The look of that. The elevator one was good, though. Yeah, they're way shorter. Why would Superman do that? Just a super <laughs> All right. Hit by a car and dead. 
take this. Hit by a train. That one's pretty good. Not funny though. That's a, these aren't funny. Blue face. Yep. That sucks. These are not good. just violent without humor. Yeah, it's just a guy getting beat up. But it's not like over the top. Well, never. Okay, this looks <laughs> pretty good. Alright, that one was pretty good. I'll give it up for that one. I like that one. Oh, this is ending thing. Okay. Jesus, what's happening to the Joker here? Oh my god. Oh. All supers? They put you in the hand chamber? What is this? I always thought Swamp Thing was going to be like another Grundy, but he's not. He's not like a grappling guy, I don't think. Unless I'm making that Oh, he sent your ass to the future. Maybe that's it. Maybe the supers took the prio. Because I feel like the supers are really well done. Not the cat is. Ow! Ow! Jesus! You could die that way. Oh, you're definitely going to die this way. Okay, you're fucking dead. Okay. Alright. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, wait. <laughs> NRS think they slick. <laughs> you thought I wouldn't notice? <laughs> He's dabbing. I can't. Take it to the pyramid. Take it to the team. Wait, he doesn't even. Wait, he hits. He doesn't even hit you with a T-Rex. He hits the T-Rex with you, and the T-Rex is like, Hey! <laughs> Asshole! I'm eating! He's just chilling. And then he somehow catches up with himself? To hit you with him? That's kind of crazy. Oh, no. <laughs> I remember Green Lantern being a piece of shit in this game, too. I remember that being annoying. Oh, yeah, dogs. Which is kind of brutal. Not really funny, just kind of fucked up. Dog just eating you alive? Oh, is this the one with the ship? Yep, take him away. <laughs> Cool. Oh my god. I love these. Jesus Christ. Why do you hit the fucking Why do you hit this one? Hit the fucking pause with the. He's just waiting for you. What a piece of shit! Oh wait, is Soup still evil in this one? I think so, actually. Isn't he? I forgot he was evil in the first game. Yes. Okay. I forgot in the first game he was evil. I thought he turned evil in the second one, but yeah. I hate this Joker so much. Didn't need all that. Together with our hellish hate. Are you in hell? That is your fate. 
Is he the devil? Is that dude the devil? He's a red lantern. I don't know what that means. Is he? The, is that the devil? <laughs> He's just mad. All right. <laughs> Wait. It's your fucking boy. A giant hyper-intelligent monkey. I think Spider-Man did that actually. What was the Marvel one? Didn't Spider-Man do that? Was that Berserker Barrage? Was that Berserker Barrage? Maximum Spider, that's what it was. Oh, not the dude with a gun. I hate this guy. So cool. Cool, man. Yeah, you should just die. I, that one's crazy. Uh. Oh, did she just miss? Uh, uh huh? <laughs> Is she like the only good character in this game? She's not gonna put you through anything? All right, she just missed. That's funny. Why not just go throw them into the sun if you want them to die? Just go to the sun. Huh? <laughs> now that guy's dead. I thought the arrow guy would have a terrible fi Oh, I hate this dude. I, I've only played a little bit of Injustice 2. I watched a little bit of it. This dude just does this. He's like a fucking conductor. I don't even know what he does. He just hits the fucking... What's what's his deal? Is he like Doctor Strange? Is that his whole like... Doctor Fate. No way that's his real name. He just pops gang signs. Cooler Doctor Strange. I hate that Marvel and DC just have the same character on both sides. They just have different names. That's stupid. He is stronger than God. I'm so sick of hearing that. Everybody's like, oh, this character is just as strong as Superman canonically. He can bend the earth to his will. He can actually suck all of the blood out of your body and move all the oxygen out of it, and then you die. All these characters are just power creep to shit. How about just the guy who has a gun who, who makes you cold? How about that guy who invented a gun that shoots the cold? Wait, did he suck him in? What? What? <laughs> he Shang Tsunged it? Hell no, he in the chest dimension. Did you get him other versions of me? And now he's back out. Okay. Oh no, he missed again. What is this guy? He didn't even grab him, he just poked him? That guy's lame. Plas you suck. Plasma is not coming. Oh, we're back in hell. Not cool. Who's this guy? Why is he chilling, huh? True believers, super fans. That's Superman? That's Jacob. Oh, hi, Jacob. Wait, what if you're playing as Superman? Who's in there? No one? Oh, that's boring. Oh, I guess that's kind of cool, because the, the implication is he broke out. That's kind of cool. Oh, she's like the screaming lady. Yeah. Yeah. That's a loud chick. 
What's her name? I don't remember her name. Banshee? No, that's not her name, right? Black Canary, that's it. <laughs> that's fucked up. Does this hit anywhere? Bro, that's cheap as hell. What the... Uh, how far does that go? Is that full screen? What is that? You can aim the beams? He's guessing. <laughs> oh, my fucking, uh, uh, this has, uh, up, uh, right, up, up, down, right, up. Oh, my, oh, my fucking, he like, uh, I think he like down, actually. <laughs> That's so funny. And then stocks go to the moon. To the moon. Why didn't he just do that from the beginning? Could he do that the whole time? <laughs> You're wasting your own time, huh? Oh, that's kind of neat. Yeah, that's kind of boring, though. Uh, no, gee, she's impaled. Okay. Oh, he's at it again. Hit the Shazam. No, oh my god! <laughs> That's my fucking guy. The cold man. <laughs> I love him. Ice to meet you. <laughs> oh my god! Yo, this is sick! That was cool as hell! I love that guy. He looks like a Despicable Me character. He does, actually. What's his play style in this game? What is he like? Like, what if he has a gun, is he a zoner again? Like, zoner? They're all fucking zoners. Stab. Battering out. Stab. Chop, chop. Why does he have a sword? Taste full Japanese steel. Ah, okay, we're gonna keep doing this. Scarecrow is here. I guess that's good. Cool. Is this Bane? He's gonna do the back thing, right? They always do that. The final move is gonna be the back break thing. That's everybody. Always the He's gonna grab him. Oh damn a DDT! Never mind, that's cool. Never mind, that's way better. That was so much better. I like the DDT, dude. Does this video have the ninja turtles? <laughs> no, I haven't seen them yet, maybe. Blue robots on. What? Huh? Dude's just a fucking alien. <laughs> Back to this. Wait, where are the DLC ones? Uh, Injustice 2 DLC supers, I guess. All super moves including DLC. Hold on. Let me see. I gotta see Ninja Turtles. It looks like he went down the same order that this guy did, but he added the... Okay. Probably because they're in the... I thought... Bro, I thought this dude was Paul Revere. I'm not joking. Something about this frame... Like, I thought he had on, like, a Minuteman hat. I thought he was a, a, a colonial... I, I don't know what it was. When I saw it in me... I, huh? <laughs> Is that a dude from 1776? I don't know why. Something about this. I think I think it was like it was before. It was like in the midst of this. I was like, oh damn, they got a fucking red code in this game. That's crazy. The famous early American icon. Yeah. 
it's got to be hard for the Mortal Kombat people to not just kill somebody, right? Like, they're clearly holding back. What? An electric dragon? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, wait. This is going to include all of them, isn't it? Okay, yeah. I was going to say, do they all have individual ones, but... Not that cool. Oh, that's it? Were there only two DLC characters? No? There's more. Huh? <laughs> Wait a minute. What? Okay. This, this. Oh, my God. Am I going to have to zip around? Wait, this is the same video. Wait, what? Who? Is this a different guy? Oh, this shit's in alphabetical order. Superman, Joker. Di oh, wait, this guy's new. Right? Yeah. <laughs> that drop kick? Oh, he's Dante. Alright, Wonder Woman uh, can actually kill Hillary Clinton in some shots, dude. I don't know what yeah, I maybe I'm just seeing things. By the way, ad starting soon. You're gonna be seeing some things in a second. Go ahead and use that prime right now. You better drop that instantly. Drop it right now. Quickly. Maybe more like Chelsea, I guess. She's like young. <laughs> Hillary, you know. Dogs, dead shots, Sam. This shit. Uh fire. T-Rex, Fatal, Cat, Dr. Fate, yeah, this guy, the Cyborg, yeah, 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 more, more, more. Du oh, shit! That's a new guy? <laughs> By the way, this design goes crazy. Thank you, Dainty Sign. I love this design. I love his design so much. I think he's cool. I've noticed, I just like masks and helmets. I don't know anything about this guy. But my favorite comic book villain, just based off design alone, I know nothing about him. I don't read these. I don't watch the movies. I don't know anything. This dude is so fucking cool. I love Mysterio so much. I think he's cool as fuck, dude. A giant, like, glow. I love that, man. He rules. You would literally love him. He's my favorite. I love him so much. I know nothing about him. I've never seen him. I've never seen any of the movies. I don't know his origin story. I don't know anything. But I think he looks so cool. I love him. <laughs> He's the best. Oh, this dude's his owner too, isn't he? No. And the laser? Alright, that dude's definitely his owner. Alright, uh... Oh, screw... Sub Zero's in this. Okay. Man, he didn't even look. A hammer? <laughs> Why not a sword, Sub Zero? Was okay, I guess. Not crazy about who? <laughs> look at Hellboy. What kind of posture is this? Why does he stand like that? <laughs> He's like a cat. Ugh. Is that Catwoman? I, I have no idea who this is. I don't even know what her power is. Enchantress. That's stupid. Oh, hell yeah. Beat her ass, Hellboy. Did she tell him to shh? Watch her. What the fuck? How dare you? I also don't know what Hellboy's deal is. Oh, we're going to hell. Okay. Can somebody sum up Hellboy in five words, please? He's a boy from hell. Demon who kills demons. Bro, that's Spawn. <laughs> what are you talking about? 
Demon from hell but hand. Demon beats up cosmic evil. Big hand fights Nazis. Wait, really? By the way, I watched uh, Inglorious Bastards the other day. Good movie. However, I've watched a lot of Tarantino movies, like, recently. And, you know, after somebody points out the feet thing, you can't unsee it. It's a lot. It happens a bunch. Once somebody points it out, it's like, uh. It was really weird. And it's like little things, right? Like, you wouldn't even notice or care about it if you didn't hear the stuff. And then you hear the stuff, and you're like, uh. You know? But no, a Glorious Bastard's a good movie. I thought the whole not crazy about that one. I thought the whole like Inglorious Bastards thing like I didn't quite understand. I mean I guess it's Tarantino, so it's pulpy and whatever, but like the two subplots never really come together, right? It's just it's it's I'm sure there's meaning behind it and there's it's, it's, I, I, I thought about it for a while and I think I understand what they're saying, if anything. Maybe it's just a neat story, but it's it's weird that they never like intersect ever, right? Both protagonists accomplish their goal. Yeah, like Aldo and the girl never interact. Uh, Shosanna, I think is her name? Yeah. I mean, they do it at the very end. Do they? I don't remember. No, because she dies. Ugh, fuck, spoilers. <laughs> fuck! Now I feel bad. Fuck! Oh, no! Oh, my God! I actually... I know I ruined a 15-year-old movie. No, I actually do feel bad about that. Because that one shocked me. I know it's an old-ass movie, but that one actually did surprise me when she dies. My bad, everybody. It's an old movie, whatever. Oh, man. I feel really bad. Because somebody said they meet at the end, and I was like, they can't. Because Yeah, the ending really surprised me. The ending has the whole nice guy thing, right? And I guess... Whatever, okay. Anyway, it's a good movie. I gotta watch more Tarantino stuff. I didn't like Pulp Fiction at all. But I liked Bastards, and I really like Django. And then Kill Bill 1 and 2 are pretty good. I think. Django is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I would never get my ass beat by a tiny Why wouldn't he just go big? Why does he go small and then big? Huh? Alright, come on, Leo. Do it. You said they had individual ones. My turn. That doesn't seem to be the case. Shell shot. Well, well, well. Hmm. No one said that. <laughs> Someone said that. Damn, he hates being shell shocked. God damn. Ouch! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> I fucking hate these turtles. That would have hurt. Oh, that's funny. Oh, that guy might hate those turtles, but I bet he would not hate getting hot, delish, delicious meals delivered to him from HelloFresh, just like I did. Guys, if you haven't heard, HelloFresh is a great way to have some home-cooked meals sent right to you, and you get to cook them yourself. It's fantastic, and it's actually cheaper than takeout in a lot of instances, particularly if you use my code. Go ahead and go to HelloFresh.com and use that code for up to 21 free meals with free shipping, and I can't wait to tell you more as I look up the thing, uh, the paper that I, I have to read off of. I closed it, actually. So, if you guys could... Um, uh, uh, the big game is coming up, everybody. Who's ready for the big game? Hmm? The big game 
Everybody, it's going to be so cool. Aha, here we go. Guys, use my link or go to HelloFresh.com and use the code POGHF27201 for 21 free meals plus free shipping. It is delicious. I've been using these for quite a bit. I'm a big fan. You can skip the snowy schlep to the grocery store and stock up on snacks, sides, desserts, and more at the HelloFresh market. Simply add staples and sweets to your weekly order, and they'll arrive at your doorstep along with your meals. You get fast and fresh recipes from their latest line of meals featuring robust flavors and filling portions. And they're ready in less than 15 minutes. Enjoy taste and quality done quick with recipes like falafel power bowls, seared steak and potatoes with Bernays sauce, Bear sauce or Southwest pork and bean burritos. We all want to save money at this time of year, but did you know that HelloFresh helps you save money all year round? In fact, HelloFresh is cheaper than grocery shopping and 25% cheaper than takeout. And everything comes in so convenient. You get to cook it yourself. It's a great way to spend time with a loved one, friend, family member, whatever you want to do. Check out HelloFresh. Go to HelloFresh.com and use the code. Or check out the panel below the stream. Click on that. You get 21 free meals. It is delicious, and they get delivered to you with free shipping. Thanks to HelloFresh for sponsoring this stream. But now it's over. I got to go to bed. Thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, I will see you guys Sunday. Remember, no stream, Agai. No stream on tomorrow. So I'm going to Sunday. Uh, we're going to watch Genesis. I still don't know how much I have to pay for licensing it. We haven't, uh, they haven't told me yet. Maybe I won't stream it. I guess it all depends. Goodbye. How I love this pretty bed. Now I'll rest my weary head. Good night. Oh, I forgot to do it. All right, whatever. Go wherever you're going to go.